Okay, wow. So, we have Terminator I going on and uh, some blur and almost talking while the, uh, the mic is muted, like you do. So, hello and good morning and happy Monday. I have some allergy stuff going on and I, I just kind of needed a chill stream. And by chill stream, I mean just threatening to throw my monitor out the window because... Uh, it's the very last one. We finally got the thumbs up of our approval, so we're going to say a quick hello to those who are here. So, hello, Bell, hello, Bug, and hello, Riches, hello, Hubsmod, and hello, who is ever lurking. And wow, are we going to really have blur first thing in the morning? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ah, okay, so we are catching the last thing to finish this museum, or my resident representative is going to die trying. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to try to give it like this last week and if I cannot find the horned Hercules it's just not meant to be and I've accepted that fact you know just sometimes things don't work out the way that you want it to but I hope that everyone is doing well and hello Becca Crossing hello welcome to the Monday Madness that is my <laughs> life choices so How's it going? Sorry you had to go for a second. It's fine. I'm, I'm doing okay. I have some allergy stuff that is uh, continuous and uh, hopefully this blur thing will go away. And Terminator I, for some reason, is like heavy today. So we are time traveling so that we I'm in Sunday mode and I guess I'm technically on East Coast time <laughs> officially. So we're going to enjoy some of the fireworks, but we are we are ignoring the fireworks today and we are going to find the Horned Hercules. So let's get started. Thank you. Um, yeah, my allergies, it's I don't know if it's just a summer thing. I I do know that it kind of hits me pretty hard in the summer. And since we have a third rabbit that we are watching. I'm adjusting to like their dander and their whatever. So that's been fun. Monday Madness, Insane Sunday. Heck yeah, Becca. Yes, you know the vibe. That's what's happening today. So, oh, they're all out. Yay. Oh, by the way, for those who were not here last week, uh, I had hippo autofill and I tried. I tried to like the man. I really did. But he was not working out, so I have amiiboed him out for Daisy, my birthday twin. And, I mean, she's only going to be on the island for maybe a week or two at most. So it really just kind of depends. <laughs> hello, Ryan. Welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. So I apologize in advance for the sniffling ASMR. I know that's not what anyone is looking to, uh, to uh, listen to in their headphones. But, oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. I should probably get changed for the the bug capturing and get also some Nook Miles tickets. But yes, how is everyone doing? I hope you are all having a good time. Oh jeez, I have so much stuff. So much stuff. Not enough space. Oh my god. Ooh. I I really hope that I can uh, make it through with the typical three hours because uh, it's been a bit rough for me energy wise. I, I have been saying that the uh, the medication that I've been taking for you know fertility stuff has been um, really tiring for my 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 human body and uh, so I'm I'm hoping to uh, to get through three hours but if not, I'm definitely going to be streaming on Friday. I have a really fun collab with uh, Honey Drop Crossing to go villager hunting. And it's it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. Ooh, can you tell me something? It's funny, kind of. I don't want it to happen in the middle of your stream and accidentally start something. Okay, Bug, you, you've piqued my interest. I'm a little concerned, but go for it. All right. 
that that's some good no wait no if we're gonna go catch a horned hercules we need to get super serious about our footwear there we go and some and some quality socks not that quality socks yeah all right basically the things that i would wear on a regular basis oh maybe if i took nook miles tickets with me that would help me uh and i think i need wait am i out of okay i'm not out of that all right jeez i am clearly awake this morning i promise <laughs> ah Ryan, you're doing great watching two streams. You support those streams. I am a-okay. I do that too, actually. I will I will have like the tabs of everyone that's, you know, live, and I will switch between them. So I totally get that vibe. I get that vibe. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna miss this island. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm ready to restart. I I think that I'm I've been ready to restart for a while, but this is nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, they all look so darling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm ignoring them. Going searching for the elusive horned Hercules while everyone else is having fun. Hey, Beneficial Gamer, welcome. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope your streams and your videos have been fantastically, uh, what's the word, uh, viral. <laughs> All right. You want to watch two streams at once, but you only have one phone. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Bug, I'm sorry to hear that when it comes to, uh, a typing tick. I've never heard of that, but if, um, if that's going to be a problem, just, you know, self-monitor, and, uh, I won't take it personally. I'll just put you in timeout, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, Bug, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't I won't block you, but if it if it happens, I'll just delete the message. It's okay. It's all right. Am I am I going to restart on stream? Oh Bell, I have this whole process lined up. So here 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 is the tea, friends. Here's how it's going to start. I'm Oh, this is the wrong island. But so what I'm going to do is I intend to put all of my villagers in boxes. I'm going to amiibo out. That's going to take, oh my God. I was thinking about this today, that it's going to take 30 different DIY gift things in order to amiibo out all of my villagers, right? And so I'm going to get them all in boxes and I'm going to just put them in moving out on Nookazon for anyone to take them. Am I lucky? Maybe, no, okay. And then what I'm going to do is that after everyone has a house that says I've moved out, I'm going to just kind of do a, a little walk around and then I'm going to restart on stream. And so that's, but the fun thing, the kicker, the kicker, my friends, is that I'm going to be starting really early in the morning like remember that 6 a.m uh um live stream where i was villager hunting really early in the morning well well it's going to be the same thing only it's instead of it being the typical three hours i'm anticipating a five hour stream at least so i don't know what if it makes more sense to kind of cut the stream into two where i have like a 30 minute break in between in order to like get a second thing of coffee like I typically do, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So first and foremost, hello, Jennifer. I didn't see your message for some reason, but I, oh, hello. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I completely ignored you, not on purpose, hello. Um, and uh, so what bug do I need to catch? It is the Horned Hercules. It is the hardest, most elusive thing in the game. But 
let's see, what was it last week? Last week I was able to get everything. So I was able to finally catch the killer fish. And uh, I turned that in, so I got the golden rod DIY. And what else? And I think I was able to get the giraffe stag. I think that was the, the other one. And I cannot express how frustrating it is to do like to do the grind and i think this is the only time i'm ever going to give a crap about like finishing the museum i'm gonna be completely honest hi andy more crossing hello dangela hello i don't know what villagers you have but i'll gladly take roll or sprinkle if i happen to have them i unfortunately do not i have who do i have oh geez i have Agnes, I have Rory, I have Cranston, Barold, uh, uh, Daisy as of now, Bertha, um, floral swag, I also have floral swag, um, I have Dottie, and I have Kid, and I have Boris, I think I got all of them, I think. <laughs> It's all right, Bug. The whole the whole gloriousness of my um, of my channel is that you'll be able to uh, to catch it whenever that you just want to settle down and enjoy the hilarity. And uh, Zenobia, hello. I'm sorry I didn't say hello. My my uh, allergies are making my sight like eyesight a little bleh. So, <laughs> oh, Bug, thank you, thank you. So, Dangela, what are you up to? What are you up to? How are things? All right, so, fingers crossed, we get Bamboo Island. I may just waste all of these precious Nook Miles tickets just to get to Bamboo Island. Is this going to green screen? Yes, it is. I need to get, like, a coffee cup mug thing specifically for streaming. Like, either having the, the exclamation point hydrate command on the cup. I could design that. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Wait, beneficial gamer, it's your birthday. Did I, did I miss that it was your birthday? <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> If my if my voice wasn't all nasally and just so gloriously sniffly ASMR ness, I would do a quick like happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Hi Jessica, hello, hello. I'm glad that you all could make it. Oh, did I just press buttons? I absolutely pressed buttons. Friends, friends, this is gonna be that sort of stream. And he seems so sad that I can he can't send me somewhere. All right. Let's press the right buttons instead of me monologuing. Oh. What happens, friends, if I can't find the Horned Hercules' this stream? <laughs> oh. It's just uh, Jello right now. You're working on your island. Very cool. Very cool. Oh my gosh. It's going to be that sort of stream, I can tell. I can tell. Oh, all right, bamboo. Bamboo. We need some bamboo, because then I don't have to cut down the freaking thing. Bamboo or a flat island, please and thank you. All right. Well, I don't think it's Bamboo Island, but I think it may be flat, maybe. Maybe? Ooh, it's Money Island. Well. Well. There's no, like, bug restrictions on Money Island, right? We're just gonna- we're just going to make the assumption that no, it is not. And Jessica, you could acquire one for me. <laughs> oh my god. 
Jessica, I just have this image of you in like some like back alley with a trench coat and you just like open it up with all of these elusive bugs. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really feel bad for the leaf bug. He's just crawling on the uh, on the poor floor trying to escape my my madness. Weird thought, there are no stump bugs, cedar bugs, tree bugs, and palm bugs, but no bamboo bugs. Uh, well, there's a mosquito. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, that's actually a really good point. I had wondered about that. And also when you shake it, you don't get like additional bamboo drops, I guess. It'd be really cool to have like bamboo uh, leaves fall and then you could craft something. That'd be really cute. All right, I think, I think, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> All right, so time to, to farm some, some buggies. Let's give this a try. You gotta head out, your mom just called. Yeah, go go help your parents and your your grandparents. I hope that you have a great rest of your day as well. Goodbye. All right. All right. This is not an ideal island because if I have to get rid of a, you see, if I have to get rid of a bug over there, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right. But we have we have the means of of catching the horned Hercules. Oh, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a, a fun time, let me tell you. Alright. So, so, while I'm, I'm doing the most interesting, interesting thing for a stream, how many of you have restarted your island, and how did you feel about it? Oh, I need to catch you. Because you will not go away if you do not. Because I, I have a feeling I'm going to be weirdly sentimental about it. Come here. No, come here. Thank you. But I'm also under the impression that I think I'll just be very ready to, uh, to make the move and just to do it. Sending bamboo vibes. Thank you, Riches. Thank you. All right. Never have, never will. I just redo areas. That's fair. That's entirely fair. One. Oh, need to get rid of that. Need to get rid of that. I feel too bad restarting my island, so I ended up just buying another switch. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too. Uh, well, I mean, it's technically a hub's mud switch, but I feel the sentiment. I do. <gasps> Not what I need. But at least it's working. Okay. All right. Oh, God. You have a few times you're... And it was a bit sentimental, but I got frustrated with the RS placement, so I just yeet. <laughs> nice. Nice. I wonder... I mean, I highly doubt that they'll allow us to move the resident, re uh, the resident services, but... I wonder if that is actually something that people want. Part of me feels that that's part of the, um, you know, writing yourself into a corner effectively is that how do you deal with a, um, with a part of the island that you cannot do anything about and how you feel about it. All right. Well, you two go away. All right. The bonus of having multiple islands so that you can kind of help yourself out. Yep, yep, that's the first thing I did with uh, the second one. And I I felt that it sort of, like it sped up the things that I wanted to speed up in the beginning, but I also felt that I lost a little bit of the magic by having 
such a helping hand. Like I'm, I am a okay with collecting all the resources in order to build the um, nooks cranny as soon as possible. Like that's that's completely different. But I remember just giving myself millions of bells and then paying off the house as soon as possible, and it kind of removed that that storybook aspect of the game where you slowly build up your house over time. You wish you could add more space rocks? Space rocks? What do you mean space rocks? Oh, you retracted, never mind. One island is enough for you, no restart. That's fair as well. Oh, rock space. I Okay, so friends, I know, I'm doing the thing that um, is, is sacrilege, I know, I know. Technically, I could be getting more money, but when I tell you that the amount of money that I have in my in my bank is kind of obscene and I'm just doing this to clear out the area. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm absolutely doing it on purpose. Hello, Joanne. Am I just like missing people's... Am I just missing people's comments? Oh my goodness. So friends, as I've said, uh, my brain is a bit weird right now. I am not ignoring your comments on Prairie Bed. I promise. Hello and hello and Joanne, if you made a comment and I can't see it because I'm blind, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, now we can officially get started. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's get ready. All right, it's about to get super serious. Oh, I should have. No. Get out of here. That's mostly going to be a uh, a common theme. It's just me running at trees, going, "Get out of here! You're not what I want." Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, it's working, so that's nice. That's nice. Oh. You wish you could dare form some of the beach areas? I, I actually do as well. I would love to, what I really want is I would really like to put down roads, like actual, actual pathing. And there's a 30 second delay between comments appearing on chat and me reading them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be that sort of stream. Oh, oh. wait, is that? Oh, that's the horned elephant, isn't it? Oh gosh. No! Well, it wasn't what I needed anyway. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, three hours of this, friends. Yep. Three hours of this. This is this is this is our life. This is our Monday. Yep. Yep. You can, oh, I did not mean to catch that, but okay. All right, all right. I also realized from my second switch is that I actually caught the, uh, the Horned Hercules on my other switch. So I'm just like, it, it exists on the other island, you know? All right. You can go. All right, and we need to check for hermit crabs and oh, oh, come here. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess with this grind, at least I'm building up the amount of bugs that I'm catching. So in general, all right. Okay. Get out of here. Has anyone else completed their museum? I mean, I know that there are some people who are like super completionist and want to do the grind. And then there are others who are like, I don't got time for that. 
either that or they restart their islands so often that it doesn't really uh, seem to make much sense to do that. But I think, as I've said, this is probably the only time. Uh oh, we have a we have a buggy somewhere that's keeping the others from spawning. How rude! How rude! I say. You're waiting on art. Yeah, what I found most interesting and in a really great positive way was I I had just asked people on Reddit and various Discord servers like, hey, I just need this art. I will give you Nook Miles tickets. I will, excuse me, I will pay you mons. Just like, let me know. And a lot of people were like, no, I'll just give it to you for free, you know? <laughs> so I was able to complete my art museum pretty quickly because I had like I think I had about eight or nine pieces left I believe maybe dig up that one tree that's really close to the edge and put it somewhere safer you mean this one I'm just gonna assume it's this one there we go and then we'll do a, a thing in right there. Yeah. Okay. I think there must be some buggy somewhere that's keeping things from spawning. So let's take a look. This is one of the reasons why I was really hoping for bamboo. Come on. Because... This, oh my god, they were all here. Oh my gosh, get out of here. What the heck? Stop forming your bug conspiracy plots over here. Jesus. Alright. You've only gotten the fossils. I want to complete it on this island. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Alright. Oh, man. But this, I think this is the last time that I'm, I'm devoting to catching this one thing. If I just can't catch this one thing, I've accepted my lot in life. <laughs> I've accepted it. You checked the conditions 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. need to have caught 100 of their bugs in July to August. Yeah, so I have absolutely, I am meeting those conditions. It's currently almost 9 p.m. And it is August in my game. It's technically the day before, so, I mean, it's only slightly time traveling. <laughs> and um, I've caught, I've caught thousands, thousands. All right. I think there's a bug conspiracy over there. No? Oh, wait. Let's see. Yep. This is so obnoxious. So obnoxious, I say. Here's an idea. Why not every other time you get to the jump point, you jump over to scare some bugs? Yeah, that's probably a good idea instead of me just running around like a mad person. Like a mad person. And there's a mosquito. So let's deal with that. Ugh, get out of here. Ugh. Yeah. If, if this becomes obnoxious to me, I may just move to a bamboo island if I can find it. Because what what is this? Why, why do I subject myself to such insanity? Get out of here. I have like 20 of you. All right, so far no bugs over there. Okay. Okay. It should not be this elusive. This is kind of obscene. Next I'm going to be told that, oh, you can't actually find this freaking bug. <laughs> <laughs> on mystery islands you have to find it on your island which means you have to cut down all the trees all the trees all right 
freaking mosquitoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? All right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I do not want your malaria. Come on, go away. Are you serious? What? Leave me alone. I'm just gonna let it bite me. Whatever. Ready? There we go. Uh, at least you're not in season when you have the underground bugs. I actually had an easier time catching the underground bugs than I have caught catching these. Uh, complete sea creatures and fossils, 20 fishes. I'm missing a lot of art. Oh, riches. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I remember during museum day or museum two weeks as it is ap as it should be called blathers or at least the stamp place was like oh unfortunately you don't have any of this art and I'm like look I just started the game okay okay cut me some slack all right get out of here Drown the mosquito. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Not sure if I told you, but for me to find this one particular bug, it took me from. Oh gosh, it took you six hours. Oh my god, I, 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 mm. that is a level of dedication that I appreciate and am slightly terrified of because I don't, I, I do not live my life out of spite. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I don't feel like I'm a spiteful person. I do know that I have spiteful tendencies and that I will, I will pursue a thing <laughs> in, um, in spite of my well-being <laughs> for the most part, but this, I don't know. I don't know why this is suddenly like really important to me, but it is, and I have to I have to see it through. But this is my this is my last day to find it, and if I don't find it, it's okay. It's okay. I have completed everything else in the museum, but this one elusive bug. So. Maybe it knows that it's like really sought after and so it like hides. Oh gosh, six hours, six hours. That's crazy. Well, this the stream friends is not gonna be six hours because um, that's just. I think this is the giraffe stag, maybe, but I I've caught this. But all right, we are assuming the hunting position. I'm, I'm going to even be honest. I was looking up videos of like how to catch it and because could you imagine friends, what would happen if I uh, missed? Oh, this is not the giraffe stag. Okay, well, okay. I was at the moment where I was like, okay, tonight it's Hercules or bust. That is, that is a fair sentiment. Mm-hmm. All right, I need to re release some thingums. Get out, <laughs> get out of my inventory. You can step out of my inventory like creepy people step out of my DMs. All right. All right, there's nothing here. There's no little buggy things that are trap. Oh, there's a freaking mosquito. Oh gosh. Yeah, I I have mad respect for the, the six hours search, but um, no. <laughs> what is? Why can't I catch a mosquito? Instead, I'm just catching. <sighs> Gosh, man, I can't catch this thing. Thank you, thank you. God. <laughs> All right. Release into the wild. 
genetically modify it so it destroys all sorts of malaria and Zika. All right. Whoa, 17 viewers. That's awesome, friends. Thank you. I, I know this is the most interesting thing in the world, and I appreciate the fact that you are willing to be here for me during these troubled times. Oh, gosh. All right. Get out of here. How finicky is the Horned Hercules? Like, am I going to have to, like, walk super slowly like this? Because that would be awful. Alright. Get out of here. Alright. Get out of here. <laughs> Three hours of just get out of here. I become more New York. <laughs> Once you caught it, it was scared my console would randomly turn off. Oh my gosh, that would be the cruelest trick ever. Oh my goodness. All right. Anything? No, just, well, not useless bugs because bugs are not useless, but not what I'm looking for. Okay, looks like we have to get out of here. Freaking Atlas Moth. Oh, the bug is super skittish, oh no. I must have been really lucky to have caught the Horned Hercules then on the other island because I guess I just didn't know the, the good that I had. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Anything here? So far I haven't seen any- oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. It's exactly like all the other beetles. Okay, oh, wait. Is this a buggy thing? It is. Well, luckily I'm right next to the DIY stump. <laughs> Mr. Stumpy. Make me a net. Alright. There was a comment that I was reading on some other YouTube video and i don't know if it was Liz the lass's most recent uh video of um i guess like unpopular opinions of animal crossing but someone had mentioned that you know trying to treat this game as something to complete and to finish is one of the main uh components to burnout and i i actually agree with that i really do i wanted to have this one experience because i do know that any future game that I play with Animal Crossing, like creating a new island, will not be to this level of completionism. I mean, I had intended on doing, like, completing all of my Nook Miles rewards. I mean, I plan to go nuts, but I don't, I don't think that'll work. What sort of bugs do you face in Korea that I didn't face in the US? Well, um... We actually don't have a lot of insects here, in the sense that Korea, at least in the cities, are so pesticide-laden that I often am excited to see even the, the most basic gnat or fly. Uh, but it was really interesting to see and hear that um, the different cicadas had a different sound. So we're currently experiencing like the big, I don't know if it's the 16 year cicada thing or what, but we currently are having just our, uh, our outdoors is, is drowned with the, uh, with the sound of cicadas. But um, as far as I know, there's, um, there's not really a lot of wildlife that I, I often see in Korea. And I was <laughs> commenting after uh, HubSpot and I went on our trip hiking that I didn't even see a squirrel. I have been here in this country for five years, friends, and I have not seen a squirrel in this country. So it's either that they are so uh, deep in the forests that, that we don't see them, 
or there's not as many as there possibly should be. But yeah, I, I think the only thing that's very different from the insects in, in the United States and those in Korea is that um, Koreans have a hobby of keeping insects as pets. So there's often um, in like the small pet store in the stores that I shop, you'll see snails and you'll see, um, you'll see uh, what? Stag beetles. stag beetles, yes. They, they like their stag beetles here for some reason. And I guess that's the only, that's really the only insect that I, I've seen, but that's not a wild creature here. It's just a, uh, it's a common pet here. But uh, living in Virginia, it's very strange what I, I have been considering that I, I think I took for granted while living in the United States that although, although the United States has one, it has the worst, I should say, the worst health care system in any developed country, and it's like it's the most expensive and the least um, helpful to its citizens, that there, there is such an opportunity with all these different food options that isn't in Korea. There is only one type of apple. There is only, at most, two types of onions, and that's only when the red onion is in season. Um, there's a, there's there's a lot of different greens, that's for sure, but they only sell one kind of um, like there's only a few ty different types of cabbage. They have a a large selection of mushrooms, but again, it's it's very what it, you can expect pretty much the same thing over the uh, the course of the year and it, it was it's just it's so mind-boggling to me i uh i remember when we first moved here and i know hubs mod absolutely loves this conversation because he does not like insects and i'm sorry in advance but when we first moved here there was an instance where the trees were covered with spiders. And I mean, the spiders are pretty large. And so you would see like all of these webs and stuff that were covering the trees. And I guess that was a problem because they started spraying the trees and now we don't have spiders. And that's not helping the, uh, the, the sixth cycle of the mass extinction that we're currently going through with a lot of the bugs that are going missing because we are contributing to that problem with our pesticides. And I, I understand the need to uh, maintain a certain quality uh, crop when it comes to just making sure that you don't have a lot of um, insects eating you, the things that you intend to sell and to feed people. But I also believe that I don't think we need those pesticides that, you know, completely decimate entire populations. How about potatoes in South Korea? I think on average we have, we have this really specific sweet potato that's incredibly starchy. Like the potatoes here are just starchy in general. It was, it was really fascinating to me, but we have, we often have russet potatoes at Costco. And then there's, I think like a, a small brown potato and then there's the um, the two sweet potatoes, one that is white fleshed and one that is yellow fleshed. And uh, it's um, yeah, there's 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 not a lot. <laughs> there are bugs that eat crop destroying bugs. Yeah, I mean, what's really unfortunate is we we've kind of forgotten that we do in fact need insects to enrich our soils and to um, feed ecosystems of uh, various species. And I mean, I get it. I, I, I fully support the idea of dealing with um, mosquitoes that have the Zika virus or malaria or, you know, any of those sort of carriers, but I don't think... <gasps> okay, friends. Friends. We're going to go down and we're going to go very slowly. This is going to take me like five minutes to get there. 
Yeah, right? There needs to be control, but not mass rowdy. So, okay, friends, I'm not going to look at the chat. I'm going to focus all of my energy. So please, for the love of gods, we need some horned Hercules vibes in the chat. Just, I, I need you all to not breathe for like the next five minutes, okay? <laughs> okay. My hands are sweating. This is terrifying. This is the most terrifying thing in the game. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Use the shadow of the tree as the marker. That's a really good suggestion. As I said, I was not going to... Yeah, don't look at the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. I am sweating, friends. My hands are like... I. The fact that I am... This is so stressful. This is so stressful. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Hold on. I need to- I need to document. Yep. Yep. What do we do with this net now? Oh my god. Friends. Countrymen. Resident representatives, we did the thing. We did the thing. Yes, uh, hello. And also, okay, so, um, ooh, my hands are like, oh, uh, they're dewy, okay? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we all did it within under an hour. So, uh, Zenobia, I'm sorry that it took you six hours. I'm really glad that it did not take me six hours. Ah, uh, blessed stream. Friends, thank you. <laughs> Catch more bugs to sell the flick. I can do that. I can also... I also need to clean up the island. That's the thing that I need to take care of as well. And I also need to time travel to... Okay. So first, let's take care of this. Because I'm, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not playing around with this. Yes. Yes. I'm going... Yes, I'm going immediately to the ladders. Hold on. I know that you all don't care, but I caught the last bug. You're welcome. You're welcome. We have now, we have now, we are now a cultured island. They will never visit it, but that's okay. Does anyone's, uh, villagers, do they visit the bug area? Because I have never seen, with the exception of, like, one villager taking a look in the back room, they don't visit the bug area. Is that, is that a thing that doesn't happen? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Celebrate with fireworks? Yes. Make a donation. This thing. Yep. Oh my gosh. Blathers. You know what? I know you are obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Yes. Yes, please tell me. <laughs> the Horned Hercules is not only known for its tremendous strength, but for its size as well. It can grow up to seven inches long and has powerful pinchers covered in hair that help with the gripping. As if that weren't ghastly enough, this behemoth beetles let loose a foul odor that fends off enemies and offends my sense of smell. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation, and though the bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the rest of things will be the best here. Uh, nope.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I miss a bug? <laughs> no, you missed it. Oh no. Nope, we're checking. <gasps> oh no! There's a <laughs> Okay. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Okay, so we're missing a butterfly. We're missing two butterflies. I hate this. All right. Well, luckily, they're butterflies. They're not going to be hard. But, friends, this is what happens when you don't donate. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 That's what happens. Okay. But we've got all the hard things donated. So we're just going to check one more time. Yeah, okay. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, I did donate the snail. I have so many snails. Hilariously, you also forgot to donate that one? Okay, so the Great Purple Emperor is available when? Okay, Critterpedia. Okay, CNH. Critterpedia. Friends, if um, you ever need, like, a really easy thing to, um, to uh, monitor your, your mistakes. All right, so. Oh, great. They are still available during uh, this month. So let's check the other one. Oh, awesome. We're just going to time travel to normal time then. So. So I think the, the hashtag of the day is hashtag artsy is a scrub. I think that's what happens. <laughs> you kept forgetting to donate the fleas until you finally remembered. Wait, you saw at least four? No. No. Wait, that I was missing four? No. Ryan, say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Okay. Okay, that's one. Two. All right. Okay. You blame Flick. I also blame Flick. Him and his glorious <laughs> husband to be. All right. I'm not seeing that I've missed one. Wait, okay. All right. I like this music, by the way. This is some nice music. All right. We're time traveling to tomorrow. No, Ryan, it's okay, it's okay. I, I would rather double check then then deal with the ridiculousness of thinking that I finished it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. We are time traveling to tomorrow, and we're going to catch some freaking butterflies. Oh, my God. I remember this happened with... Uh, excuse me, with Pat as well, where he was like, what was I thinking? Why didn't I donate these things? So it's okay. It, it, it is the, the scrubness that we, we all embody. It's fine. <laughs> you needed to donate three bugs and they were all in your storage. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder, I, I have been trying to clear out my storage before the reset. So that's a thing that may have to occur. Okay. All right. And then, let's see, I had Hippo in boxes as of Sunday, I believe. So that means that I have an empty plot that Daisy is taking over the next day. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch the freaking butterfly. And then we're going to clean up this mess of an island and then get Daisy in. And then I'll update the dream address. Although... I don't know. I've been feeling really insecure about my uh, about my islands recently. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting did I do the wrong thing vibes because that's 
the the harsh reality, friends, is that there's really no wrong way to uh, design an island. But I'm I'm feeling a bit I don't know insecure. <laughs> Museum music and Nook's Cranny 10 minutes before closing are some of the best tracks in the game. Oh, Radioactive View, I agree. I agree. Do you know you can get all the times and dates of bugs you already caught by clicking the bot? Oh, yeah. Zenobia, it's that sort of day. It's that sort of day. Uh, it's that sort of day. Uh, do you ever, like, have those days where your brain is not at all helping the cause. And so you do the hard way. You do it the hard way, unintentionally. And then it's like it takes you a little bit longer. So, uh. all right, let's check out this mess. So, and of course, this is gonna be the, oh geez, oh geez, hello. Sure. Sure. It's kind of hard to say no to them wanting to sell you stuff when you have like a hundred and three thousand in your uh, in your pockets. Frequently, Jessica, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one. My brain is not working. All right, let's take a look and see if we can find these butterflies, which you know originally would be very common to find in the game. But, you know, today of all days. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a, uh... Oh, you can turn these off. I forgot. Okay. Okay. Hello, Alex. Welcome. Welcome. We, we caught the horned Hercules, but I realized <laughs> there are two butterflies that I have missed. So now I get to go traveling around my mess of an island to get these bugs. Because of course I do. Oh no, there's an update glitch. I've been hearing that there's a lot of weird glitches from the recent update. Switch Force had uh, commented that like Harv's Island is all weird right now. And what was the other one? There's like a lot of weird stuff going on. Okay. Seriously, the one time I actually need butterflies. The one time. And now I can't find them. Rory, there is literally a seat right here. It is just for you. The Agrius is the fastest butterfly, but I'm faster. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, you know what I'm not considering? I'm not considering that I may have this in my inventory and I am doing the hard thing before checking the easiest uh, like possible answer to my, my problems. So let's go do that and let's check. All right, let's check. Let's check if I have, uh, if I saved myself the trouble. And I did not. Oh, of course I didn't. <sighs> this is gonna be a pain to pick up all the items. Yeah, I mean, so. You love my island. Oh, thank you. I, I've been, I just mentioned that I've been feeling pretty insecure about the design, mostly because I've realized that there's not really any, like, I don't know, points of interest. I mean, there's like little libraries and little pockets of things, but there's not like specific points of interest. And I realized that I was having that same issue with Old Port. So I had the fake buildings, but I didn't really have anything that would make, I guess, it feel like a city and so I'm trying to figure out how to how to 
rectify that. It may just be that because it was my first city build that I just need to accept it was a learning curve for me. Are there really no butterflies? Are you serious? Are you serious? I don't appreciate this. This is very unfair. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to pedally take that DIY bottle and we're going on a mystery island because this is nonsense. Nonsense, I say. Aw, no, d please don't. Okay, so here's my thing. I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that I'm being super hypercritical of my island because I am a super hypercritical person when it comes to my creative process. But you, you don't, you don't need to, to, to do self-deprecate your island to, to, to make me feel better. Really don't. I, I, I really do. Um, I do tell people that it's it's always better to see what how you can improve instead of just like, you know, feeling bad. <laughs> the specific point of interest for me is the gay flower garden. I mean, obviously. No, that's actually one thing that I will be digging up from the island itself. I wanted to keep everything as is. I didn't want to take all the stuff that I was going to need because... I've mentioned that the, the island restart is going to have sort of this storybook, you know, progression where it starts, it, it's supposed to start off as a, um, a deserted island and that it slowly builds up over time. So that's going to be kind of, it's going to be a different sort of playthrough that I don't typically see, that mostly people are just trying to get to the point where they can um, unlock terraforming, unlock waterscaping, unlock all of this stuff. But I think that we do need to go back and, and play around with what it meant to have the early game. So, let's go. Uh, well, okay, so we got the hardest thing. So now it's just finding these freaking butterflies. Ugh. Oh, really a reminder to like the stream. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Are they attracted to a specific flower? I have no idea. It just says that they fly near flowers. That's all that was specified. All right. All right. Oh, I think I'm seeing a butterfly. I think I'm seeing a butterfly. <gasps> Not the right one. Not the one. Not the one. Uh, I think you need to change the titles you are. See, messed up with the bugs. You know, I love that shade. I appreciate it. <laughs> Artsy did a dumb. Yep, that's that's the thing that happens. You were the 20th like on the stream. Thank you, Panda. And oh my gosh, 20 likes. Jeebus. 21 now, jeebus. Uh, Alright, come on, come on, come on. I have I have the right tool. Come on. If you're planning on resetting, I highly recommend that you avoid time traveling until you unlock KK Slider. It's one of the best decisions I ever made for my first reset. You know what? I I think I think I will agree with that. I I definitely want to take it slow. Maybe what I'll do is when I do the reset, instead of, you know, wanting to time travel to get through everything that maybe I'll just do a week where I stream the process, or maybe I'll just make a lot of videos. I have been missing wanting to make videos, and uh, you are the wrong butterfly. Consider not being you. Ugh. Consider. Consider changing your entire species to match the thing that I need. Friends, don't actually change for other people, okay? But radioactive goo, I can I can fully understand that. I I agree. And there's all these other stuff, like all these other things that you can probably feature either on a live stream or a video that would be interesting. Come on. Go away. I knew it was too good to be true. You know my you know what I mean? Like of course it's not just the stag that I need. <laughs> uh that should that should just be a thing that I say is just artsy did it dumb. 
What's my clock at? The address appears from 8 till 5. It's 10.34. It is the current time that is on, like, that's what time it is in Korea, so I think we're okay. There's a lot of work, but how about grabbing a bunch of flower plants and moving them to another... Oh... That's a good idea. Okay, so we're just gonna, you know, be completely ungrateful and just, like, drop all of this. So drop... Drop. Drop. Get out of here. Get out of my inventory. Alright. Alright. You saw that tulips and roses are the best for butterflies? Okay, alright. So, I guess I just need to, um... To time travel, uh, not time travel, to you go to the other one. Just get rid of all this stuff. God, so wasteful. So wasteful. But I'm keeping this. Alright. Alright, let's get, let's get some, let's, let's try to find some roses, hopefully, maybe. And of course, what would happen, friends, is we would end up on Bamboo Island. Who wants to take that bet, that we are going to end up on Bamboo Island? <laughs> If you chop all the trees, it'll limit spawning. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh. Y'all live for this grind. Y'all live for the artsy did a dumb grind. That's that's a thing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Back into the cocoon with you. Love it. All right. Well, this turned out a lot more interesting than I anticipated. Here I thought I was just gonna be running around in circles trying to think of something to say. We caught the thing within an hour, which is nice, and then we realized that Artsy did a dump. So now we have to find two more things. <laughs> oh gosh. You had to do it too and you're getting all the bugs? Yeah, oh my god. Hi, Ale Crossing, welcome. Welcome. If you were just catching up, and I, I, I just mentioned that we, we caught the thing that we were looking for only to realize that there are two other things that I need to... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Freaking Bamboo Island. What did I tell you? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there's there's a butterfly. Uh, of course. Of course there is. Of course that we ended up on Bamboo Island. And there's this one butterfly that is the wrong species. But, out of spite, come here. Oh, God. Oh, no, you just realized your turnips spoiled? You can still sell them, by the way. You can still sell your turnips for a relatively okay-ish price. I believe that you can sell them for at least 80? Come on. This, this stream, oh, wait, wait. Okay. You've got to go to dinner now. It's A-OK, -okay, Ryan, have a good one. Thank you so much for being a supportive <laughs> hand in, in, in all of this madness. Have a good one. Hopefully we'll see you Friday for when I do a collab with uh, Honey Drop Crossing to uh, find a, uh, a villager before she does. Oh. Not the one. Uh, chicken dinner. That sounds like a good time. Oh, wait, wait. Wrong one. Okay. Get out of here. What is this nonsense? You know what this reminds me of? 
This reminds me of the bug off where normally under any circumstance, there would be so many, but then Flick arrives and there's suddenly none of them. Uh. <sighs> this is what happens. This is what happens. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. If I get Bamboo Island again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a scrunchie at nothing in particular. <laughs> Uh, all right. It's so frustrating because often I see these butterflies. Like, I see them all the time. Yep, bugs are always gone when you actually try to look for them. Exactly, exactly. Hello, Born in Olympus. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome. And if you are lurking, it is a-okay. Uh, gee, bass. Bamboo is good. Saves having to chop trees. Just need more flowers. Yeah. Too bad we no longer have hybrid island anymore. Was that actually a thing? Or was that, like, you know, from the olden times that no one actually, like, I've never been. So it must have, it must have ended before um, I started playing. All right. All right. And when you're on a friend's island, you always get scallops, but you never get them on your island? What the heck? There must be glitches to everyone's game. I swear. I swear. Okay, we have we have roses. We have roses. All right. All right. So, I guess... Oh, wait. Wait. No, that is the... So y'all were saying, y'all were saying that I needed to cut down the trees in order to get more butterflies. Is that correct? All right. Well, we'll do that. We will do that. All right. All righty. What is this? Face the teacher's desk? Nah. First couple of months of it coming out? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, I started I started playing in... Uh, I think I already got these. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, time to chop down the trees. Beetle thing in reverse, yes. Reverse beetle juice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> itchy eyebrow. What is with the itchiest eyebrows during a stream? I ask you. Okay, so... Wish they didn't take the hybrid islands away. It took me so long to get blue roses. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think... I think someone was kind enough to gift me, like, one... It was, it was like, one or three roses. I, I don't recall, but I bred the heck out of them and then I just gave them to everyone else. I was like, here, do you want a blue rose that you can do with whatever the heck you want? And everyone's like, yes, please. So I never, I never actually got to breeding the blue rose myself, but it's okay. Excuse you. I didn't ask you to, to break. Excuse. All right. Do you Nick just started his stream going to say hi? Yes, please tell him I said hi as well if you could, if you would, please and thank you. Ooh. Do you ever have those days? I'm just gonna ask like really random ass questions of like, do you ever get those days where you wake up 
and you have your coffee and then you realize you want to take another nap because it's been one of those days. <laughs> All right. Oh, the great purple and wait, do I need the great purple emperor? Is that the one that I actually needed? Which one was it that I needed? Of course it was that one. Of course. And the agrius butterfly. Ugh, they're both scarce. Great. Great. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, so going back to uh, some of the glitches, there was another one where I guess Nintendo had locked uh, take like um, DIYs that you can take from other islands. Like you can learn them at the island proper, but you can't take the DIY back with you. I've heard that that was a thing. I wonder if that's them trying to crack down on treasure islands or something. And how about we click the right button to pick up things? Right. You got a couple of blue roses from a friend and they will not breed. Yeah, what happened to me was I got a few and I planted them and I kind of left them alone. Like I watered them all the time, but what actually happened was during the summer storms in June, it rained all the time on Old Port. Like, it, Old Port had a mood for a while. It was a moody island. And then I was overrun with, like, blue roses. And I was like, can, can, can people take my blue roses, please, and thank you? Like, for the love of God, like, please take it. No, I don't want you to sit. It is not time to sit. It is time for you to get your shiz together. All right, thank you for letting me know that you're lurking. Love it. All right. So tedious. So tedious. I probably don't actually have to close the holes, right? Right? I can just I can just let them do their own thing. I'm just gonna let it do their own thing, it's fine. It'd be really funny. So similar to the, the pitfall uh, seed, how funny would it be if like you left holes in your island and if you walked past them you fell? That'd be hilarious. All right. All right, so now it's just the waiting game, I guess. Why did I clear the island? So. We are trying to force a specific kind of spawn. And similar to the beetles where you cut, you, you pick all the flowers so you don't get any butterflies. You cut down the trees in order to remove like any sort of uh, cicadas or beetles from the, the spawning like queue. And then what you get is a bunch of different bugs. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're trying to force spawn some butterflies. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to catch a lot of more water bugs and, um, and grasshoppers and, and all that nonsense. But, oh, I forgot to cut down this tree. <laughs> when you try to dig up a stump, but then the villagers are like, oh, I want to sit now. Exactly. Because they don't care that you have, you have work. They don't care that you have dreams. They don't care that stump is in your way. My favorite thing was when I was waterscaping and I swear there are some villagers that just like they see you hard at work and I said no I think it's time for you to not do that oh my goodness <laughs> all right unfortunately because I have to catch these bugs because they don't they don't not spawn you have to actually catch them and then release them oh that's gonna be obnoxious obnoxious I say 
Unless I chase it into the water. Oh, there you go. He yeeted himself into the ocean. For that bug. Or for that fish. There you go. Alright. Alright, did I get every every stump? Every possible thing? Alright. Well, and now it's the now it's the waiting game. Yep, now it's the waiting game. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Are you serious? Oh, you're gonna be like that. I see it. I see how it is. I see how it is. There we go. Haha. -ha. The villagers just think that you're just overworking. I mean, we all know that that that. Jeez. Oh, Fidget spinner island. With this. And D-Next says hi back. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. No, come here. Uh. Alright, now it's time to release some of these things back into the wild. So release. Release. Uh, release. Ooh, can I, like, eat you? Yes! Okay. Get out of here. Okay. At least the butterflies don't run away. Yeah. Yep. But they're the wrong ones! <laughs> the wrong ones, I say. Uh -huh. uh. Uh. I seriously need to get a, uh, a green screen, uh, compatible cup. Oh. Get out of here. Okay. Butterflies. This is so obscene because at least at Old Port, I would see these butterflies all the time. Like, all the time. I didn't know the good I had. I didn't know the good I had. Alright. Come on. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Every single time it's like, hello, I'm trying to build a river. I know, I know. You know, sometimes, like, I, I would never do this. <laughs> but sometimes when I'm feeling particularly petty, I'd be like, you know, what happens if I just put you on this island while, while, while waterscaping? How would you feel? How would you feel? Come here. You. Can I just like eat you? Thank you. Come on. Okay. I swear I know how to use this net. I swear. <laughs> Your orchid mantis always looks so pretty. I agree. I agree. I I find mantises to be incredibly beautiful creatures, but they are also just little mini aliens that, you know, eat their males while mating, and that's a little too hardcore for me. That's a little too hardcore for me. Alright, let it go. Alright. Butterflies. What? <sighs> really? Come on. Come on. This is cruel and unusual, friends. This is cruel and unusual. Is it going to jump down? If it jumps down, I'm gonna be so mad. What? No, don't you dare. Alien buggies. Yes, exactly. Let it go. My brain hurts from doing this. All right. I knew it wouldn't be this easy. There we go. All right. 
Why won't you be the right butterfly? Why? I don't got time for this. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I am the resident representative. How they go? <laughs> this is obnoxious. All right. Well, we're getting different. We're getting different butterflies. Yeah, let it go like the popular Disney song. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Can you yeet yourself, please? Or let me catch you? That's fine, too. Alright. Well, I guess, I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing the grind. I guess that, that's just my life. The life I lead. You're back. Welcome. You wonder how many nets I will go through? We can, we can start a, we can start a poll. <laughs> I've already gone through one, I think. Actually, can I do a poll? Oh. <gasps> Yes. All right. How many nets do you think I will go through? All right. Let's try it. There we go. You've you have subjected everyone to your same torture. Yep. Get out of here. So apparently the purple emperors need trees. Oh, are you serious? Uh, artsy bit of dumb. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here, what we'll do is, oh, I don't want to read these though. Those are expensive. Okay. All right. What I'll do is I'll dig up a few, um, I'll dig up a few flowers and then bring them with me. This is the sort of life I lead. Questioning my life choices. Yeah, yeah. It'll be relaxing, I've said for the second stream in a row. <laughs> it's Sunday night for you and you're waiting for the fireworks to start? That's awesome. So question, friends. Does the does the eggplant cucumber pet thing um is that from is that from Red's you know raffle thing? Alright, one. Belle, it's okay. We we will share in the, the did did a dumb, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, it's already started on your island. That's awesome. That's awesome. I I honestly think that the the firework events are one of the most endearing that I've seen because there's always something to do and enjoy, and there's a lot of great photo opportunities, and you can play around and do some potentially uh, questionable um <laughs> fireworks. Uh, I have um I have one where. Because Winnie is our Bunny Day cultist on Oldport, I uh, I put like zipper in a strawberry jam fashion as a uh, as a firework, and so I thought that was really fun. Okay. 
Oh, it's part of the shopping. Oh, they're they are in catalog later months. Okay, okay, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. You'll never know when you need a a vegetable that has sticks out of its base. Mm. This is the life I lead. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to do a, like a walk around and see if they've decided to grace us with their their pretty presents because I have a lot of trees and I have a lot of like roses and stuff around the island. So maybe. All right. So let's end the poll, I think. And uh, what did we... Oh, does it not show? Oh no, it doesn't show what the poll did? What? Why? Oh no. Aha. How many nets do you think I'll go through to catch these freaking bugs? 33% said four. Oh my god, RT, just accept your fate. 33%. Three. <laughs> 25% and two, eight. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. All right. Butterflies, where are you? Rory, are you wearing... Oh my gosh. Rory's wearing some glasses and he looks the best. All right. Okay. Butterflies. May you be in the blessed gay garden. Let's, let's check this out. Nope. Nope. This is nonsense, I say. Nonsense. Alright, I'm not seeing any butterflies. With my mess of flowers that I need to clean due to time-traveling shenanigans. Because, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, the one time I actually want butterflies. The one time. The one time. Come on now. Come on now. Any luck? Hello! Bex, we actually found the Horned Hercules within the first hour. However, in the artsy did a dumb fashion, there are two butterflies that I still need to catch. And of course, it's the the scarce ones. So, all right. Well, apparently, apparently my island hates me. So <laughs> you've seen Agrius flying all over your island. I know, I know. It's like they, they know, they know I need them. They know that I need them. Oh, I should probably sell some stuff, right? Ugh. Anka, Anka, talk to your girl best for me, and tell tell her I need some I need some luck, please and thank you. It would be nice if online sources could agree on something other than the season and time of day. I think it it honestly is based on personal experience, and personal experience could vary wildly. All right, I don't think I need the floral swag. Oh, but I do like the wild. Okay, no, you know what? No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna drop these. And then. Uh, life choices. I have them. Oh, jeez. Why do you sit facing? Like, what are you doing? Rory, there are so many seats. There's literally a seat right here. I decorated this for everybody to enjoy, and yet you just sit here facing the water like a weirdo. God. I do actually really like Rory though. <laughs> he's a funny, he's a funny dude. There are agrius butterflies everywhere on your island. <laughs> oh my god. Uh Uh, I wonder if it's too early. Like, I know that it, it is, it's during the times that they are available, right? 
but I wonder if they are more common in the afternoon or something. Yeah, no, Rory is such a goober. I I will say that when I restart the island, if I get repeats of certain jocks, I won't even be mad because Rory was a continuous delight. He has the singing hobby or the music hobby, and so he sings all the time. He just belts his heart out, and he's just, he's just fantastic. And of course... If uh, Antonio ends up on the new island, I will not be mad. It also means that it frees up my old port slot for him to leave. All right. Wait, wait. Is there, is there? <sighs> consider, consider. Oh my goodness. Why is this so hard, friends? Why is this so hard? Uh, uh. Alright. I think the problem is these grasshoppers and these long locusts because they take up so much it's like you either have to catch them or you have to have them like consider ending their uh, their insect existence. All right. Early morning. Ah, oh, God. All right. What may end up happening is I may have to go to Old Port and see if there's anything there because I, I don't know if it's because Old Port is mostly nature, you know, in the sense like it, it's built up in the front, but there's a lot of nature in the back, but uh, Everkey doesn't really have that luxury. Another, another reason why I think I need to work on my design capabilities. Yeah, the Purple Emperor is kind of rare. It's not, it's not the rarest. It's not the rarest, but all right. All right, let's see if I can deal with this nonsense. Come on, come on. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I just, I just need two butterflies. Why? Oh, there we go. This is also probably the worst island for this. The worst island. You think it'd be better if I did that? Okay. Hubs mod, ruler of the chat, love of my life, first in his name. Could you get me the other switch, please? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Um, I was so excited. How dare you make me excited to see you when you were the wrong species? How dare? How dare? This is me just yelling at a butterfly. This is this is the the drop in sanity that has has occurred on this stream. And thank you. All right. All right. Ugh. Why? Rude. Okay. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go to my other island. <laughs> I'm going back elsewhere. Going to the other island is, uh, sounds like a good idea. Butterfly bullying? Look, look. Born in Olympus, look. Okay? <laughs> this is, this is the second stream where I've done a grind and uh, I I do not I I do not have the mental capacity to do this like Cora Mora can with a month long of villager hunting I just I can't I can't I don't have the sanity uh, the sanity checks 
that is often found in, you know, different classes and races. Like halflings and dwarves and stuff. All right. Hugs the artsy after this, we can have a butterfly burning ceremony. They can be fireworks. Oh no, no, I wouldn't burn the butterflies. Never. They're important pollinators. All right, I want to visit someone. Jessica, you have a friend that's afraid of butterflies and moths. So fun fact, I am actually terrified of butterflies. And I mean, terrified is a strong word. I used to be incredibly terrified of butterflies. I had this, um, I, I don't know if I dreamt it or if it was an actual experience, but what ended up happening was I recall a time where my mom and I went to a park and maybe it was a sculpture for all I know. I don't remember. But the, uh, there was like this huge butterfly that I, I felt was the size of my face. Like it was ridiculously huge. And I remember the legs, the legs in particular freaked me out. And I had learned that butterflies taste with their feet. And for some reason, I could not let that go. And so for many years, the, the concept of butterflies landing on me was a terrifying experience. Like, I love butterfly houses, I love seeing butterflies, but anytime they got near me, I would just cower. And there was a point where I, I think we were on a school trip, I, I, was a, I was a counselor at that point, and there was a butterfly that needed rescuing, and I, I had to use my hands to rescue it, and so that was like, uh, what, what is that therapy where you, like immersive therapy or something, and so I was able to deal with it, but... I still have a really hard time with butterflies. That's a thing. Yes. And uh, that, that, that is really just, that's the story. I, I do, I love butterflies. I think moths are gorgeous, but again, like they, they're the sort of, they are the sort of uh, creature where I can appreciate them from afar. So. All right. We are going to online play. It's the little feet. Yes, Jared knows me. Exactly. It is the little feet. It is absolutely the little feet. All right. Online play. You have to go again, Bex. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Butterfly vibes is, is all that I ask. Ugh. You know, I think, um, <laughs> I think Katie from Calico had the right idea of like drinking wine while doing this grind. I'm, I'm, I'm abstaining from it hit alcohol at the moment, but, uh, it's, uh, whew. Yes. Butterflies do not rain. Well, luckily, Old Port is a shiny, a shiny, uh, sunny day. So let's let's go see. I want to see how this flyover looks, also, because I haven't seen the flyover since I've moved to the buildings and I've added some customs to the the grass area on the second tier. So. Any animal flying at me can be scary. Exactly. Although, I, I'm not afraid of bats, right? Like, I'm not afraid of bats. I'm slightly hesitant with birds because they are quite literal dinosaurs. And anything with a beak that can chop my finger off is a no thank you for me. Oh, that's a not too bad flyover. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. It's still a little empty, though. Still a little empty. You wish you could set the weather on our islands? I I mean, I'm sure there's a mod for it. I'm sure there's a mod for it. In November, apparently, there's, like, this fog that you can't see things, you know, past a certain point. And I 
would love that on the regular roll for sanity jessica exactly all right so we're just gonna have like iram sit and look pretty so here we go have i caught the butterflies yet no ryan i have not okay so there is iram and oh he's wearing my custom shirt yay oh my god he's so cute Oh my god. <laughs> Gets my muscles glistening. You are covered in fur. How do you know? Okay. Alright, let's go let's go decimate an insect population. And oh my god. He's wait, can you really? I can't move you? Thank you. Yes, he's wearing the eye patch. Okay. All right, let's let's go see what we have to to offer. And there's Bob. Hello, Bobo. All right. Really, the one time, the one time, you don't have butterflies. Are you serious? This is obnoxious. Obnoxious, I say. Get out of here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Get out of here. Go away. All right. Oh, look, a crime scene. Okay, so I'm not seeing any butterflies at all. What is this? Oh. Uh, yeah, it would be perfect for the horror island, like um, like the one on Silent Hill. I agree. I agree. It would. Wh Whoa. He is lying. <laughs> Get out. Okay. Butterflies, come on now. And there's Winnie, and all of her, all of her scary cultishness. Where the heck? Are the butterflies are you serious there's nothing oh my goodness oh my goodness nonsense I say uh. This is cruel and unusual, friends. This is cruel and unusual. Does anyone in the chat have an island load of flowers that is set before 5 p.m.? <laughs> oh my goodness. I need an adult. Like, this is ridiculous. And the fun thing is that I am the adult. Uh, oh. <laughs> the one butterfly, and if I hit Antonio, oh, thank goodness. Oh, <gasps> he doesn't even clap. What? Time check. Uh, all right, that's two. That's two. All right. I wonder if time traveling to, like, the bug off would be helpful. Oh gosh. It is it is okay, friends. It's okay. It's alright. The 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 joy is in the insanity, right? Which butterfly am I looking for? Hello, Lauren. I am looking for the Agrius butterfly and the wait, where is that? The Agrius butterfly and I call it the bi butterfly because it has bi colors. So the agrius butterfly and the oh wait I already said that the agrius butterfly and the great purple emperor. <laughs> hello Vera, hello. Is it possible that bugs spawn less when visiting a friend's island? I don't know. I do not know. That would be very unfair. 
It's 10.18 here, you're about to go to bed. That is a fair point. That is a fair point. Oh, goodness. Uh, goodness. Uh. Bob, where, where, where are the butterflies? Tell me. Oh, don't call me a breakfast. Now I'm hungry. Are, are you telling me that there are sea monsters, Bob? Bob? Bob, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You can't just, like, walk, talk about, like, freaking sea monsters and walk away. That's not okay, sir. You call it the P.E.B.? Yes. Yeah, I just call it the bi butterfly. <laughs> the bi- the bi no, not the biter fly, because that does not sound okay. Alright. Oh, man. Some parts of this area is a mess. I need to fix this. Butterflies, come on. There are so many flowers for you to pollinate. I don't appreciate this. Okay, there's there's all these butterflies, but not what I need. Not what I need. Uh... Try a soft reset by going into the store. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. can probably also buy some stuff. Yeah, I definitely need a mug that uh, is green screen friendly. And wow, we've got... Oh, we've got some nice stuff here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> buy pride or fly. I love that. Buy pride or fly. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Come on, I have seen- these butterflies used to be so common, what happened? <sighs> Winnie happened, that's what happened. Winnie, this is all your fault. I blame you. Ugh. Iram, get your shiz together. Eh, okay. Taking it out on myself. My goodness. Also, friends, uh, if you are having a really hard time filling your beaches or you don't want to fill your beaches, I highly recommend using some weeds and some white flowers. I learned this from a lot of the horror islands that I was visiting in the sense that uh, many scary, spoopy islands don't utilize their beaches very often. Oh, so. All right. Well, we've got... Another butterfly that we do not require. They've become self-aware, yes. Oh, gosh, gotta leave sending some butterfly vibes. That's okay. Thank you so much for hanging out and giving me some helpful tips because, uh... Oh, uh all this butterfly talk has the reading rainbow theme stuck in my head. So, Hubsmod was completely surprised by the fact that I had never heard of reading rainbow until I was in my late 20s. I mean, I didn't know of LeVar Burton at all. And then, apparently, when we were, when he introduced me to the next generation, like Star Trek The Next Generation, and LeVar Burton was, um, oh god. What, 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 who did LeVar Burton play? Yes, yes, Jordy. I was like, wait, he 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 did reading Rainbow and Star Trek? What? And so I I apparently lived under a rock, friends. I apparently lived under a rock. I did not know of I did I mean I knew of Mr. Rogers, but I had never seen Mr. Rogers. I watched a little bit of Bob Ross when I became when I got older, but like the, the trinity of good vibes, I did not grow up with them at all. <laughs> Artsy give you five and you can open if you want. Okay, all right. Belle, I may take you up on that offer. Are we are we on a Discord? 
And then you can send me a, uh, a whoosie what's it? A, uh, or wait, are we? Hold on, hold on. Do we have the friendship? We may have the friendship. Let me check. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, we do not. Okay. Who's my least favorite villager? Yours is Elise. Hello, Emily the Kitty. Welcome. Welcome to the insanity. My, okay. This is going to be probably controversial. I, I don't like Rocket because um, I just, I really have a hard time liking the villagers that you can't remove their helmets in particular unless you just want to keep them, you know, thematic. But there's something about Rocket's coloration and her design that really just, ugh, I'm not a fan. I don't like Bubbles, but she's not my least favorite villager. It's just she has an unfortunate name because I associate it with some, like, <laughs> real-life trauma. But, um... <laughs> My least favorite villager is Genji. I absolutely dislike him with a passion. He was not a good villager. He and I did not vibe. He was just, ugh, not a fan. Which is weird because apparently a lot of people like Genji and I'm like, but why though? His design's terrible. <laughs> You'll have to post a dodo? Okay, all right. Well, uh, we, we, we can, we can, can you whisper things in chat to people? Is that a thing that you can do? And then I can, I can help you protect your island. You recently unlocked the best friends app after months of not knowing how to get it. Yeah, I think I actually had to Google how to do that. It was, uh, it was a fun time. You better not open for your island, Genji wanders the streets. Oh, so it, it's okay if he's on other people's islands. I just, I'll just ignore the man. It's fine. How about the magic? I grew up with the magic school bus. Absolutely. I liked Miss Frizzle. I, I loved Miss Frizzle's dresses. I, if I thought I could pull off Miss Frizzle's dresses, I'd wear them all the time. She had the most beautiful, like, galactic space stuff on, like, that she wore. Oh, man. But endangering children, I don't know. There was this really fun headcanon that I appreciated where the children of the magic school bus, due to their ethnicity and like just the way that they're um, that they looked, they are the children that grew up to be Captain Planet's like represent representatives. Consider that and blow your mind. It's there. They don't have the same names at all, but just the fact that they tend, like the the nineties tended to have one redhead, one blonde child. That was usually a girl. The redhead was always kind of like a nerdy boy, and then there was a an Asian girl of some description, a um, a black boy. And then some, like, some redhead boy that was, like, the cool kid. Because his hair color was a lot redder, I guess. And so I thought that was really funny of the, the canon that Miss Frizzle had introduced them to the sciences and the wonders of the world. And so they wanted to, to preserve the planet. Oh, Stu the Bull. Okay, well, to be fair, he is a stalker. It's not like I dislike him. It's just it's a funny thing to, uh, to experience regularly. All right, so you had me over once and no one followed, so you trust the chat? All right, okay. All right, I'm gonna... I will be ready to go when you are. Then... So let's go. You've heard of that theory and you personally like it? Yeah, like, I, I think that there was kind of this requirement, or not the requirement, but I think in the 90s they were trying to be more inclusive of different ethnicities in American, uh, in American cartoons, which, you know, I appreciate. I am, I'm all for that. But because they had, like, a, they had a system of who, like, who was what was always really fun.
also Zenovia, or is it is it Zenovia or Shinovia? Because I know that um, X in uh, Aztec is a sh sound or um, a silent, I guess. I don't know. But you said that he's a Chinese lore animal? Really? Genji has some sort of, like, special thing behind him? All right, I want to visit someone. All right. <laughs> Sarcastic voice. Hey guys, I have the power of heart. One of the most OP powers that should have been the power of mind control. I know. I know. The power of manipulation. The power of uh, emotional uh, <laughs> manipulation. You have this headcanon in the Miss Frizzle as a trans woman, and she went back in time to teach her past self to be brave, make mistakes, and be true to herself. And her past self is Arnold. Oh, that's so cute! Ozi Zenovia. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I had been right. Good. All right. Bell, I am. I my 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 resident representative is ready. Just let me know when you are. And we'll give it a go. <laughs> I appreciate that headcanon. I appreciate that headcanon. He's based off of something related to China. All right, Belle, let's do this. Let's do this. And while you're doing that, I'm going to look up, like, Genji's lore. So, Genji, Animal Crossing lore. Okay, so and if uh, if someone follows Bell, you absolutely may do whatever means necessary to protect yourself. All right. Genji is a jock rabbit villager in Animal Crossing. He retains his name from the Japanese version and both reference the titular character of The Tale of Genji by Murasaki Sh Shikibu? Shikibu, which is considered by some to be the world's first novel. His initial phrase prior to New Horizons, otaku, is a formal second person pronoun in Japanese. It can refer to someone with an obsessive personality, which reflects on jock villagers' fitness and health obsessions, or a fan of anime. Just his design. I don't know. I I the the cat eyes to a rabbit is kind of weird for me, but I don't know. It was mostly just he and I didn't vibe. He worked out all the time. That's basically what happened. Ooh, smart you for retracting the the comment, Bell. Good job. Oh my gosh, Bell, your island's so cute. It is so cute. Oh, you have Antonio too? Oh well, Belle, this is this is a fun time. This is a fun time. Awesome. Alright, Belle, your your island has just increased to plus ten. And of I think didn't I visit you last week? Because I remember the Canada thing. You like his design. It reminds me a lot of the old Japanese art. Yeah, Jennifer, it's just, it's, like, he and I did not vibe. I don't know. I When I first got his amiibo, I was like, eh, okay. And I think he's probably the only rabbit villager that I don't like the design for. All right. All right. All right. Well, you know what? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gift you a thing out of, out of, out of, uh, out of thanks. And hello? Hello? <laughs> Are you keeping me here? Are you serious? <laughs> With the axe! Oh my gosh, I feel so threatened. I feel so threatened. Okay, well, I will- I'll go for a walk. I'll go for a walk. <laughs> oh gosh. Hello, little square. Welcome. And oh my gosh. Okay, so we're just gonna like tour someone's really cute island. And oh, this is so cute. And I will do my best to not run through your flowers. And I apologize in advance. Oh my gosh. Go away. Wait. 
there are literally no butterflies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Keeping people out. Oh, Bella, that's smart. That's super smart. I like the axe, though. The axe, I think, is what really made the... Uh... Oh, gosh. Where? Well, we're doing an island tour. I mean, ooh, ooh. Hello. <laughs> we, we, we search for butterflies, and then we just get to visit someone's island. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh. I don't understand. It's like it's like this freaking game knows. It it knows and it wishes for me to suffer. When am I going to do Ireland visits again? When I hit 500 subscribers and uh <gasps> Bell. Bell, you did not warn me. You did not warn me you had stew on this island. How dare. How dare. I have a a restraining order against this man. How dare. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yes, uh, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do island visits again. And ooh, ooh, hello, hello. What is this? What is this? Watch me get lost in a, uh, in a maze. Yep. Oh. I actually was able to make it through. That's nice. I don't see any butterflies. This is obscene. This is obscene. It's okay, Belle. It is not your fault. I appreciate the attempt. I appreciate the attempt. Oh my goodness. But hey, we get to visit other people's islands today, so... Ugh. Oh, oh, wait. Nope. Come back. Ugh, are you serious? Are you serious? Come here, come here. I'm gonna catch you out of spite. Huh? You lost me? Stream. My stream got lost? I don't know if it took me. Oh, did, did we lose the stream? Did we get a bufferage issue? Because apparently mine, mine is showing that everything's fine, but <laughs> Hubs mod is, is having some technical difficulties. Oh my gosh. Wait, come back. There we go. Well, I caught the one thing I didn't need, but... Oh, Belle, I will say, your island is very darling. I appreciate it. And I don't often see the, the light dearth path being used. But yes, this island is incredibly cute. This is super cute. <laughs> oh, your YouTube is lagging. Oh, goodness. Okay, so it's not just you. It is not just you. Uh, oh, and you have Kyle! Actually, I'm curious. What What is your map? Who do you have while we're waiting? Stu. Antonio. Oh, you have some... Uh, I want Avery so bad. Oh, gosh. I was very bummed that Audie and I did not vibe. I was super sad. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Uh, my, I, I, this just hurts my soul. I don't, what did I do to deserve such, such calamity? Boink. Where, are, are the butterflies just like camera shy? Is this what happened? All right. Or I wonder if it's just because the cicadas are um, are here. So let me see. Let me see. I could time travel back to May. I could do that. I could time travel back to May before the cicadas and all the other stuff comes out. That is during a time where there's not many bugs, but there's a lot of butterflies. So the Great Purple Emperor comes out in May, and the where is where, where, and also comes out in May. All right. So what we're gonna do, friends, is Belle, thank you so much <laughs> for 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 attempting to save me from this from this butterfly catching hell. But I'm going to time travel back to May. And have my villagers be incredibly mad at me, but they can suck it up. It's fine. It's fine. 
and then we'll we'll see if that if that'll increase my chances but thank you thank you so friends hearts in the chat for bell being incredibly kind and generous for the uh for the opening of their island and uh have a good one <laughs> all right all right yeah, we're going to time travel back to May because that's, I, I noticed that there was an uptick in insects right when June happened. So when summer happened, that's was, that was something I was really excited about, actually, is that there was a huge lag from winter to spring from any sort of insects. But then once June happened, all the bugs and all the fish was just like, hi, we're new. So we're going to do that. Yes. So thank you so much, Belle. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Y'all are great. And I am sorry about the lag in the chat because, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, can I like, oh, oh, oh that's so weird. That's so weird. <laughs> and of course, when I time trap, when I get back here, there's going to be all these butterflies. Let's hope. Let's hope. But I will say, even though I'm kind of self-conscious about this island, this flyover, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right. God. Let's see. June, July. Oh man, that's gonna be three months. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, I should probably time travel just to get Daisy back, right? Because I don't want to glitch my game with that. That would be a problem. Oh, let's see. Are we in an empty plot? We are. Okay. Ah, oh, Cranston, you are adorable. Okay, so we're going to time travel two days just to get Daisy in. And then, uh, I'm breaking so many rules. What I typically do is I typically, like, immediately gift my villagers all of these things, but I'll, I'll gift her eventually. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so. Oh, wait. Wait, can I... Oh, I can just do the Ambot had taught me this thing where you can once you get past that that save thing, you can just time travel. So we're gonna do we're gonna turn this off. And who knows, maybe we'll get butterflies. Maybe we will. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, so another quick question. So when you have a, your birthday twin on your island, do you like celebrate each other's birthdays? Or are they too busy celebrating their birthday? Because that would be really interesting to see, like w how the game tries to compensate from one villager's birthday and yours. You know? I like do you, do you have like these these same questions where they're just there's just these weird questions in your head about what would happen if this in your game Considering that I'm restarting, I could just time travel to November and see how um having a birthday twin on the island would affect my birthday and her birthday. Okay, so Daisy's officially moved in. Yeah, so maybe I'll do a video of that. It's like weird questions we have, but we're afraid to answer. <laughs> All right. All right. Because I'm not a monster, I need to see if 
like, I need to introduce myself to Daisy. I have to do it. It's required. Thank you. Look at this butterfly just, like, mocking me. Mocking me. Alright. So let's go say hello to Daisy really quickly because I'm not a monster. And I can already see that my flowers are going to go out of control. Oh, wait. Was that, a, was that a butterfly? No, that was a bug. Oh, you don't have Alice or Tybalt? Okay, let's see. Is she inside? She is! Oh, actually, I like this house. This is super cute. This is cute. As I hit the door. It's like hitting the door. Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, her house is so darling! This is so cute! Aww. She's so cute. Alright, we I have to get some birthday twin awesomeness. Although she's gonna be, like, walking around. Come here. Come here. Let, will you dance with me? Will you do a thing? Oh, are you serious? You are a little tart, madam. Yes. Ready? Nope, she doesn't dance, but that's cute. She's a, she's a really cute villager. Maybe what will happen when I do the reset that if I find, if I find her before I find Coco, that'll be okay. And then I'll go search for Coco so I can get her, get her house straightened away. So we're going to do a one, once off of checking for the butterflies. You may villager hunt on the 11th, depending on who asks to leave. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Wait, are we on the right day? We are. Okay. This hurts my soul. Oh wow, oh wow. There's a lot of lag. Oh geez. No, you were not allowed to leave, madam. That's not a thing that's happening. Alright. You can keep thinking your thinky thoughts. That's not occurring. Everyone's here until the reset. Oh man, having Boris leave is going to be so heartbreaking. I did not anticipate, like, really liking Boris, but Hubs knows how to choose villagers, that's for sure. That's for sure. But, yes, on on Friday's live stream, I'm collaborating with Honeydrop Crossing, and we're going to go villager hunting for a certain amount of Nook Miles tickets. There's, like, this whole thing that we're looking for, and we're going to be searching for villagers the color of the rainbow and we have to like see like all of those villager colors and then try to find the ones that we're looking for and i'm going to try to get eloise to leave because i mean i love i love the girl she's great but you know she's she she can leave if she wants but i don't know which snooty villager to replace her with Tasha seems to be a really popular Halloween snooty villager, so maybe I'll try to find Tasha. You're going to reset your island soon after you get your dream villagers? Wow. That's exciting. Okay. Yeah, we're time traveling back to May. This island is terrifying. <laughs> Why is this island terrifying, Jared? Is it so? I, I don't know if you were here for the stream when I was telling the story when uh, Hubs Mod was doing me a kind service, and I am forever grateful. But he was grinding in order to get a twelve in boxes, and so he was just like navigating around the entire island trying to find a twelve first and foremost. And secondly, to see if there was any thought bubbles on the villagers, or like on top of the villagers' heads. And he was saying that this is not a negative criticism. This isn't a criticism at all. But I can definitely tell that our brains are very different when it comes to design. And I was like, yeah, I know. But, all right. So they are available in May. So we're just going to go to, what the heck? We'll just, we'll just go to May 16th. That's Eron's birthday. Ooh. Giant shrooms everywhere. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I love the mush DIYs. I think they're one of my favorite uh, seasonal items in the game. I know that mushrooms are your enemy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's Animal Crossing, so they're like made of, uh, I don't know, um, non-shroomy things. They're just aliens. Aliens. So fingers crossed that removing the, um, actually, I want to see which, which creatures are available in May. Let's, let's play, let's play this part. All right. Oh yeah. We're going to have an easier time because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. There's, there's not as many uh, bugs available, so. In comparison to like, let me see, to June and July, yeah. I, I think this is the best, the best bet that we have. Your 18 year old brother has the biggest fear of spiders, it's insane. Yeah, like, I, I appreciate Oh wow, the color scheme's so different. This is weird, okay. All right, let's see if this will help. Let's see if this will help. If this won't help, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Daisy, you work out, girl, it's fine. Yes, okay, we are seeing more butterflies. They're not what we're looking for, but we are seeing more butterflies. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. All right. I don't know if I told, I, I think I've mentioned this, but I used to have like back in my late teens to throughout the good portion of my twenties, I used to have a severe zombie phobia. Like the, the idea of seeing zombies would send me into panic in, in movies, and I, I refused to watch or play video games that had zombies. And so my biggest, my biggest, um, what's it called, um, success story with combating my, my zombie phobia was playing Plants vs. Zombies, and I was incredibly good at the game. Oh man, I, I really enjoyed playing that because, you know, even if I lost the game, it, it wasn't as terrifying. It just, you know, the zombies ended up in the house and then it just said, oh, they ate your brain. So it wasn't very graphic. But that was, that usually was a, a sign to me, at least, that I was able to overcome my fear to some degree. And then I was able to watch a playthrough of uh, Resident Evil the village and so I think I think I can I can watch spoopy things so as long as it's not me playing them because I, I don't I don't need people listening to me scream and uh, curse <laughs> thank you Dottie thank you I at least someone appreciate oh my gosh look at this dress she's so darling in it oh my goodness oh my goodness okay all right, we are getting more butterflies than we had, so that's a thing. Oh, really? Already? Ah, okay. Oh, gosh. All right, so we'll sell things at Nook's Cranny and then do what's referred to, I guess, as a soft reset. So we'll do that. God, my poor island. <laughs> my poor island. Mm, excuse me. All right. You can watch a horror movie without looking away, but the second it's over, I'm scared. Yeah, so uh, for those who like horror-ish board games or um, Lovecraftian stuff. And I have my own issues with Lovecraft, mostly because other people were the main reason as to why Lovecraftian lore is so much better than the original, because I do not like H.P. Lovecraft. 
I think he's verbose and um, thinks too highly of himself and, you know, is also a racist blah of a being. But uh, one of our friends who has gotten really into board games as a hobby and, uh, and painting figurines introduced us to what's called uh, Mansions of Madness. And you work with an app and it's free on Steam but you work with an app to tell the story and even though it's not necessarily like it, there's nothing gory or, or scary but it builds up the uh the tension oh yes look at all these butterflies and not where i need you to be excuse excuse but i remember that we had finished one that was based off of the innsmouth story with like all of the fish people and uh i went to go take out the trash and in Korea, they have automatic lighting for the apartments, like for the, the hallways, and I remember being really unsettled. <laughs> that was a fun time. Is H.P. Lovecraft the one that named his cat a rude name? I mean, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. I would not put it past him. I would not put it past him. But H.P. Lovecraft is is known for like the Cthulhu universe, you know. It's uh, all the monsters and people losing their um, losing their sanity and all of that because of all the horrors that, you know, due to humanity's folly. Oh wait, wait, is that what I need? That's not what I need. Why aren't you what I need though? Excuse you. Why can't I catch you? That's the other thing. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, see, another reason why you should not like Lovecraft. Ugh. But I, there, there are instances in the game of Mansions of Madness with the app where they provide a, um, like, a quote from the stories. And to me, I'm just like, you could have put that entire sentence, like that entire paragraph into one sentence. And basically, the the consistent theme is humanity likes to put its nose where it doesn't belong and uh uh oh uh oh excuse you no you are not allowed to leave oh hey emmett the marshmallow animation studio that's a cute name i dig it but hello all right Uh, okay, well, we're getting more butterflies, just not the freaking butterflies we need. Alright. Oh, I wonder if in, they're in the, the crazy mess that is my rose garden, and wow, there's a lot of weeds. Oh, jeez. No, go away. Go away. Oh, dang. There's a lot of weeds involved. Oh, jeez. All right. And here I thought that catching the horned Hercules would be the hardest thing to do. No, it's just getting the butterflies to freaking spawn. This is obnoxious. Wait, where, where's that? Excuse you. Excuse you. Do you know who I am? Excuse? Thank you. You learned how to change your name a month ago? That's awesome. I have not figured that out. Go away. All right. Butterflies, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, there's, there's, there's another butterfly. Come on. Come on. Do a lap, do a building replete. Yeah, you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. And we're going to ignore that balloon. And ignore those butterflies. But that's a good idea. Now we get all these butterflies now, just not the right ones. Your time traveling to kick Mary or Molly off. They're cute, but you need more dudes. Yeah, my thing is I I really do strive to have equal representation of lady and gent villagers. And oh oh, wait, are these are these the butterflies I need? But I often end up getting um, 
more male villagers. Come here. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So maybe what will occur, and I think I'm going to follow y'all's advice, is that I'm just going to go around and avoid trying to catch the bugs and then do a soft reset. So we're going to try that. This is obnoxious. Yes, I have over 200 subscribers. Yes, I do. I wasn't able to see into that. It's okay. It's all right. I've I've had a a very um, a very nice build up. And oh, is it Sunday? Oh, cool. Time travel shenanigans. You don't know what day it is. You don't even know what it is what time is anymore. It's been so long since you caught these butterflies that you don't know when they spawn. Ugh, yeah, that's how I feel because I, I remember seeing them quite often and now they're not spawning. I may have to go to a, another uh, mystery island. All right. Oh, he didn't want to leave. I think he just wanted to like tell me how awesome I was. But also, this is the, the joy of having a very messy island, is you, <laughs> you, uh, you have a really hard time with getting bugs and stuff. Which is why I'm really hoping that with the, the two themes that I plan on doing for both Old Port and the new island reset, that I do, I do want to provide areas of just wooded funness, you know? And of course, now there's like no butterflies at all. Uh. Goodness gracious. All right. This, this is obscene with how hard this is. This is obscene. This should not be this hard. Oh my god, so many flowers. So many flowers. Alright. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna do Nook Miles ticket thingies. I'm amazed by how many Nook Miles I've used to catch bugs. Like, I imagine. Imagine. Imagine using Nook Miles tickets for anything other than villager hunts. Goodness gracious. Congratulations on the 276 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Is Streamlabs not working? Is Streamlabs not telling me when I'm getting some awesome new people on the channel? Way to go, Streamlabs. Way to go. All right. You post your videos at 2 p.m. Alabama time. That's cool. That's cool. I need to start posting more videos. You're back and you've got popcorn. Zenobia, prepare for that pop. Actually, popcorn sounds really good right now. Mm, popcorn. Popcorn is the best snack food. Oh, Daisy, you are so cute. You are so cute. Can I talk to you? Oh, taboo. Oh, now tabbouleh smell sounds really good too. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Ugh. You be are that be. Nook Miles Plus. I know, I'm also hungry. It's almost, well, it's afternoon for me. So we're here for another 20 minutes or so.
I can't believe I didn't donate. And what's really weird and dumb of me is that I used to keep like three of each insect that I wanted to turn into models in my inventory just in case I was like feeling feeling some uh, the butter. Oh no, it's raining. I don't think the. Oh wait, the great purple emperor is available in the rain. But the Agrius Emperor and Butterfly is not, of course, of course. So we have roses. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll we'll just have to wait, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're waiting for burgers? Ooh. Can we get some butterflies in the chat? Yes, Val, please. Oh my goodness. Alright, I should probably have... I should probably have just this. Come on. Can I... Can I get rid of this? Where's the, where'd the bug go? There it is. Yes. Fly. Thank you. Learn to swim. Oh, that's right. The snails. The snails. Oh, goodness. Alright. Alright. So, it looks like I have to get rid of the... I have to get rid of the, uh, the stones, don't I? We should be able to eat a whole stack if we wanted to. That that should be a thing that we should be allowed to do. There we go. Alright, and then there's a, a little skater boy and said see a later boy. Showing my age right now. Here, come back. All right, so we got rid of one potential spawn thingy. <sighs> Butterfly, nice, Jessica, nice. All right, come on. Oh, we have a... <sighs> we have the, the ground cricket. There it is. Okay. Alright. Come on. Eat yourself in the water, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Why do I do this to myself? Is it for blathers? Am I, am I, am I subjecting myself to such insanity for a literal AI? Yes. Yes, I am. Come on, butterflies. <sighs> Change the time of day? Uh, yeah. Um, right, okay. Alright. And of course we have the ground cricket, or whatever the heck it's called. The most obnoxious thing ever. Not, don't capture that. I want to change it to 8 a.m. Hello, Nathaniel. Hello. You told your friend to come raid me? Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. You're very sweet. Much appreciated. Oh. Uh. There was a meme back in the day that it was like a piece of paper that um, 
There is a piece of paper that says bang, like in case of stress, bang head here. And that was during like my college days. And let me tell you, I utilized, I printed out the paper and utilized it. No, I'm just kidding. I went rock climbing and worked out in a healthy fashion. Uh, all right, but y'all are right. They both are, well, the Great Purple Emperor is available at 4 a.m. So we'll see. This is, this is one hell of like a journey, man. Let me tell you, let me tell you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see if we can find any butterflies up of here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now there's like no insects. What is this? Oh wait, duh. We were going we were going to a mystery island to avoid this nonsense. Right. I'm back from dinner. Did you find it, Panda? No. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, so we found the Horned Hercules, if that's what you're asking, but it turns out, Artsy did it dumb, and uh, I now have two butterflies that are, of course, of the scarce variety- He is so cute. He is adorable. Of the scarce variety. And now I have to find- wait, wait, no, wait, no, come back, no, I saw a butterfly, I saw a wing. What happens if it was the right one? No. No. No! Uh, my sanity has dropped to minus five. <laughs> Alright, did, did I lose it? Did I, did I lose it? I lost it. Uh, my brain. Uh, okay, so we're starting to get more butterflies, but... Nonsense. All right. This is shenanigans, friends. Oh, hydrate? Yeah, I should probably hydrate. I know that a lot of us adults like to think that coffee is actually hydration. It's actually not, but all right. Okay. You're not hydrated right now. Well, consider, consider Emmett, consider hydrating as I waste another Nook Miles ticket. <laughs> Go drink a gallon of water. <laughs> Say goodbye to your kidneys. Oh my goodness. There was a, okay. So speaking of almost ruining your kidneys and me being slightly anxious about, you know, health and stuff. So when I was in Malta in the summer, it was incredibly hot. So if you've ever been to the Mediterranean in the summer, I want you to consider an island that's in the middle of the Mediterranean, where on average you could probably expect summer days that would exceed 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And the, the uh, humidity was in the upper 90s, if not like... I mean, it's not 100% because I guess 100% hydration, like humidity is like you're literally swimming through water. But there was a point where I was incredibly thirsty and I was just drinking water bottle after water bottle. And I'm talking about like one and a half liters. So like huge water bottles. And it got to the point where I was really nervous that I had ruined my kidneys because I drank so much water without any sort of like salt or minerals to compensate for all of the, uh, the flushing out that I did. And... It was, it was, it was, wait, butterfly? It was a terrifying time. 
but I think I at least drank a gallon of water, and so I had to have my friends from abroad like reassure me that no, I was not going to die. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, wait, where did the butterfly go? Excuse you, excuse you. I didn't ask you to leave. Well, actually, I did because if you left, that means I can. Oh gosh, there's all these little butterflies. There's all these little yellow butterflies, but. Uh, sounds like here in the south yeah right right it, it's pretty insane it's pretty insane all right butterflies come on well we're getting butterflies at least right so i consider that a win Squeezing. Oh, goodness. All right. This is nonsense. I I don't recall them being this hard to find at all. Is is it is it just today? The day of all days? It knows that I want to complete the museum, and so it says not today. Not today, Artsy, not today. All right, so. What's up with the blue bottles? Is it migration season? I, I guess, I guess. But I would rather deal with a bunch of butterflies that I don't need than no butterflies at all, so. I consider that sort of a win. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. All right. What? Oh, yeah, you can get out of here. That's fine. So many little butterflies. Let it go. Come, come back. No, don't make me work. Don't make me... I now have an enemy. I have an, an, a nemesis on this, on this freaking island. And that is that white butterfly right there or the common butterfly whatever the heck it's called because it refuses to let me catch it just so i can let it go all right all right let's get rid of you you got your cup of water? Good job, Emmett. Proud of you. Proud of you for hydrating. <laughs> Completely forgetting the common part of its name. I know, I know. It's like it's common or something. It's like it's common or something. I just want to put you into the museum. You will live out your days in, in, in happy floral bliss. Come on now. That's three. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> this is cruel and unusual. But, you know, it makes for entertaining streams, right? <laughs> I was, I was actually really afraid that I wasn't going to even find the uh, Horned Hercules. I, I felt very lucky about it to, to find it so early. But of course, of course I'm missing them. Because of course. All right, come on. Yeah, run into the water. 
Thank you. Man, I am so violent against insects right now. Because they're not what I'm looking for. They're not what I'm looking for. All right. Let's get rid of that one. Come on, butterflies. Spawn for me. And butterflies being freaking common and me trying really hard not to curse on this stream although I think I did a I may I did a I did an oops at some point right. oh, gosh. ooh we have this thing that will not go away until you catch it. Come back. Oh. No. Oh. No. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Ha ha. All right. The banded butterfly arrived before the freaking I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this at all. Where's the other freaking dragonfly to it? Alright. Come here. Come here. No, come here! I'm trying to catch you so you can be let go. No, I said shiz, and that is something that I, I say often on the stream. No, I think I, I, I released an F-bomb by accident before correcting myself and saying the a, a more PG-13 version. So, <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I don't think people will hold that against me. Alright, let... Huh? You'll hold it against me? Rude. Rude. Aww. Yes, as, uh, as Hubs mod comforts me with with how brutally unfair this is so unfair uh, oh are you serious oh sh 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 okay haha <laughs> haha ha 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 ha. did not did not curse haha <laughs> but just my luck right i would get stung during a uh, trying to catch the the wrong thing you think you're allowed one you think you're allowed one? Forgiveness? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friends, for your for your kindness. All right. Uh, stop it. Go. Wait. Is that? That's probably not the right butterfly. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. Right. Can I can I get you to go into the sea? Consider. Thank you. <sighs> I'm so sick of these freaking butterflies. Oh, let it go. All right. Oh wait, wait. I saw, I saw a thing, maybe, maybe. Ugh. I hate the dragonflies. Hate them. And by hate them, I mean, I, I just hate the fact that they don't go away. <laughs> Where'd they go? Okay, there we go. Come back. Come back. Thank you. Ugh. Uh. 
What makes things worse is that I recall the RGS is one of the smallest and the uh, Purple Emperor is the one of the largest. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I recall seeing them all the time. I would make the joke, it's like, oh look, it's the bi pride well, uh, the bi butterfly, but I like the bi pride or fly. That's, that's pretty awesome. Mm. Goodness. How many, I, I should have kept track to how many bugs that I've caught since I've started this, this shenaniganery. Wrong one. But this one. Ooh. Alright. Stop it. Alright. Excuse you, I was clicking a thing. Whew, alright. They're, they're ha they exist. They exist in my game. I know it. They exist in my game. I've seen it. I've seen it. Alright, no. This is nonsense. Nonsense, I say. Nonsense. All right. Oh yeah, if you want to play around with the commands, there are a series of commands in the description. <gasps> I was so excited. All right. All right. Oh, oh, we have a pond skater. Come here. No, no, don't. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Come here. Thank you. Darn it. Why? This is this is like you need to eat a whole pint of ice cream sort of depressing. This is, this is, this is, this is a bad time. I, I feel like I need to eat my feelings. Ugh, come here. Come back. Can't see. Ugh, really? I hate this thing. <laughs> the blue bottles, the C plus of, of bugs. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. Wrong royal butterfly. I know. I know. Uh, come on. Come on. Nonsense. Was it behind here this entire time? Maybe. Oh, I can go around there. <gasps> Did not realize. All right. Come on. Alright, yeet yourself. Yeet. Wrong, wrong yeeting. Go on. Thank you. Alright. Uh, freaking dragonflies and... Mm. I'm trying not to sneeze. That's not the ASMR everyone's wanting. Ugh. This game... Oh, you and your long jump capabilities. Ugh. Okay. This hurts my soul in the most soulful way. Okay. Alright. 
What I could do... Oh, wait, is this a butterfly? Hold on. So, the... The Great Purple Emperor spawns at 5 in the morning. But the... Agrius only spawns at 8. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I don't I don't know what's up with my game. My game likes to pretend things don't exist. All right. I'm going to do a another walk around and then I'm going to go back to the uh, the island to see if there's anything else. Maybe I'm maybe I'll get get lucky. Maybe. Maybe. All right. I don't know, is this worse than villager hunting and like getting repeats? I feel like it's 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 on the same level of insanity. Hmm. Alright. Shenanigans, friends. Shenanigans. Oh my goodness. Oh, we are oh darn it. Okay. We are we are almost past that point of we need to finish the stream because uh I have I have to eat a thing and we bottle you you evil representation of what I need. At least doing this works. I know, I know. God, could you imagine that it would take me 2,500 bugs in order to get the, the right uh, insect? That would be cruel as heck. Look at all these butterflies I don't need being cruel. Not being the one that I want. Alright. Let's go for a walk, friends. Let's go for a walk. Oh, wait. Did I see Did I see a butterfly over here? Uh, no. Did I ever find Bertha? I, well, well, a, a very kind viewer was like, so I have Bertha in boxes if you want her. She amiiboed in Bertha for me specifically in order just to, you know, have me come over and get her. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I will absolutely take you up on that offer. So yes, I have Bertha. She's around here somewhere. She's around here somewhere. Freaking, oh, wait, wait. I think, oh, yeah, it's a, uh... no, come back, come back. Yes! Uh, take that! Take that! Aha! Haha! Alright, we have one. We got one. We got one. We're gonna donate this freaking thing because I refuse to, uh, to, to do a dumb. That's a thing that we are not doing. Coffin dance, astronomia. Alright. Yes, let's freak you out with your insectophobia, or whatever the heck that's called. Yes. One more, friends. One more. One more. We're gonna do it. You forgot to tell y'all you just got the Francine Amiibo card? That's awesome. Blathers, I'm going to make you explain why they're awesome. <laughs> they have brightly colored wings, but the way they flutter and flitter so foul. <laughs> In fact, the Agrius butterfly flies so fast it's quite a feat to catch one. I suppose I should congratulate you on your good fortune, but catching any bug seems a misfortune to me. Yes. No. Blathers, we're gonna we're gonna go through this dance. Yes, we are. One to go. One to freaking go. Which means, I think the... 
the Great Purple Emperor is available at 4 a.m. So what we'll do is we'll go to 5 a.m. Because I don't think a lot of bugs are available at 5 a.m. And maybe we can limit it. Yes. And entomophobia. Oh, is that the fear of insects? All right. All right. Well, maybe we're lucky. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go for a walk, friends. Let's go for a walk. Uh, this hurts my brain. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Anything in here? No. Oh, wait, wait. Was that a was that a thing that I needed to find? No, no. Okay, it's just it's just that thing. Just a long locust, or as I like to call it, a locust. All right. All right. Oh my God, my flowers are out of control. My flowers are out of control. Oh goodness. How dare you make me excited to see you, common blue, no, whatever. Rude. Again. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> he is so darling. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I don't think butterflies are down by the beach, but thought I would give it a try. All right. Who are the bees? The biz. The bizzes. All right. All right. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to time travel to Five in the morning, which is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful soundtracks in the game. And then we'll we'll see. And oh yay, we have a new subscriber! Thank you, Leaf Green Gamer one two three. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. All right. All right. Poor thing is stuck on my island. All right. So yeah, we're gonna time travel to five in the morning. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see. And then after this, friends, I'm going to have the very adult lunch of a, a, green, of a grilled cheese sandwich. Actually, do we have enough cheese for a grilled cheese sandwich? Okay. I need to go to the store and get chez. All right. Uh, all right. Time for some five in the morning goodness. All right. Ooh. You really can't open the emoji tab because it always lags on your computer. It's okay, Zenovia. It's all right. It's all right. I I understand that the butterfly vibes are in your heart. Oh, five in the morning. I wish five in the morning wasn't actually five in the morning so I could actually enjoy five in the morning. You know, like what ha what if five in the morning was at noon? You know, like it has that beautiful sunrise that you could enjoy after sleeping, you know, your entire morning away. Oh. All right. All right. Can we raid someone when we're done? Yeah. Is is D Nick still uh 279 subscribers? Oh, 
well, well, Com uh, Streamlabs is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. But thank you those who, who have sub thanks to those who have subscribed because uh, Streamlabs likes to be lazy sometimes, and I appreciate it. But if Dnek is still live, we can we can give that a try. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, it's so nice. So pretty. It's so calming. All right. Oh, wow. I know that when I reset early in the morning, I'm going to be incredibly sentimental. I'm going to try to not cry on stream. All right. But this is uh, such a good time. Such a good time. All right. So far, I'm not seeing any insects. So, hopefully. Hopefully, friends. Hopefully. All right. I know you exist in my game. Oh. I hate they make me so excited to see them. I hate it. Common blue bottle. It's okay that if you have to go in a bit, it's all right. I appreciate you keeping me company during this hard and tumultuous time. Good night, Emmett. Good night. Have a good one. All right. All right. What is she doing awake? That is weird. Sister Elise should not be up at five in the morning. That's insane. She must be uh, working on a DIY. Goodbye, Nathaniel. Yes, go to bed. Go to bed. It is probably very late for you all. I have considered the idea of doing uh, what Kay Daisy does, where she does really early morning streams. I may start doing that when uh, Hubs Mod starts school. Because I do know that in by streaming late at night, it does become late for a lot of people. The only problem though is that when I'm <laughs> when I'm awake, the poor UK people are just like it is the middle of the night for them. You're gonna fall asleep to that music. I know it is. It is such beautiful music. The 5 a.m. is just phenomenal. I didn't know this until uh, Kay Daisy was, had mentioned it in one of her streams, but she was saying that all of the previous Animal Crossing games were effectively like, the music was computer generated and Animal Crossing New Horizons was the first where it was played by, you know, actual real people. And I know that there are some aspects of the game where when you listen to it for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, it gets tiring, but this is just beautiful music. Wait, wait. Oh, got me excited. Rude. Is 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 Dnick rating me? Is that? Yep. Yep. Hello. Hello, Dnick. I was actually planning on rating you and i am i am offended that i couldn't get to you first <laughs> hello hey my dude we are finishing the museum i apparently had three insects that i needed to collect instead of you know the one so now we're looking for the great purple emperor which is a hard bug to find apparently yeah we're just going to go to a uh, a freaking mystery island I don't got time for this. <laughs> hello, friends. Oh, I should probably... Okay, so, so. Hello, Emily. Hello, Lulu. Hello, Dinek, obviously. Uh, hello... Yes, yes, you beat me to it. You beat me to it. Yes. Next time. I'll get you next time, Dinek. <laughs> it's the sort of rivalry we all live for. <laughs> who gets to raid who? Or who raids whom? Is that is that a thing? Get out of here. All right. 
Canberra's crafting in the morning in the International Cat Day. What? What? Camille cross? Wait, what? Which is that's a, that's a that's a lot of words in a sentence that I I'm I'm having a hard time putting together. Don't do that to my brain, man. Don't do it. All right, yeah, we're just we're going we're going to a mystery island tour. I should have also kept track of how many Nook Miles tickets I've used for this for this project. It it must be dozens at this point. Because uh, I guess I use it for the thing that it's not well, I guess it is intended for, and I am going Did you just miss a raid? Yes, Dinik had the uh, had graced us with his presence along with some of his lovely people. You can still raid car.h. He uses restream bots so people can chat across platforms. I thought that if you, I mean, I know that he uses the restream bot, but I, does it even resonate through YouTube though? But I guess I could give it a try. We could, we could try car.h. At least like five tickets. Yeah, today, today. In the last uh, couple of weeks, I think I've used dozens. That That is quality villager hunting, like, resource material, and yet I'm using it to catch a butterfly. The island. And we've used at least, what, we've used up three nets at this point today? Is that, a, is that what, wait, does it come in the rain? Apparently the, the blue emperor is available in the rain, so we'll, we'll check. Or purple, not blue. What am I even? Whoa. Look at this mood, though. This is like entering a murder scene. Oh, goodness. You use Restream sometimes. It does. Yes, Twitch and YouTube see each other. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yo, Cloud, welcome. There is literally nothing here. I am... My brain. My brain. And there's a snail. A happy snail. Oh, and then there's the, the freaking ground cricket. You're not judging you did the same? Yeah, right? This one butterfly, this one butterfly hurts my soul. And now, because it's raining, there isn't any. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna try another one. I don't I don't think I necessarily believe the Critterpedia saying that the butterfly is available in the rain. All right. Is this? Is this? Uh. Wait, can I? Oh no, that does not do that. Okay. Oh, International Cat Day is also August. Oh, that's right, because a lot of people are still in August eighth, right? Yeah, my my one <laughs> my one weakness in on on the internet is seeing cats with babies, and so anytime that HubSpot sees. A cute photo on the internet of a cat and a baby. I'm just like, let's 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 get cats. Let's let's get cats. But we have we have a two animal rule in our house, and we currently have two rabbits. So, uh, if it's continuing to rain on islands, I'm gonna be so mad. Imagine spending three and a half hours trying to catch three bugs. Imagine. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, no, are you serious? Are you serious? 
This is this is nonsense. They do spawn more around flowers, that's true. And apparently, according to the ACNH Critopedia, that this particular butterfly does spawn in the rain, but I'm calling shenanigans, and I think that's a lie. So we're going to time travel to the next day at 5 in the morning. You're missing about four beetles in your Critopedia? Yeah. 1.1 1 .1 hours of bugs, pretty good. Uh, Belle, I wish I could agree. I wish I could agree. All right, don't get time for this. This hurts my soul, friends. Like, of course it's going to be raining when you're looking for a bug that doesn't spawn in the rain because of course, of course. Which is worse, Rain in ACNH or Rain in Breath of the Wild? I'm going to be super honest. I've never played a Zelda game outside of, like, the original Zelda game from Game Boy. And I did not get past the opening area because I couldn't figure out what to do. And I don't know. I, I guess I just I didn't have the mental, like, understanding of how games worked at eight years old because I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know that, like, I think I hit boxes or crates or pots or whatever the heck that Zelda does. Not Zelda, Link. Wow. Wow. Everyone unsubs for me because I made the, the rookie mistake of saying Zelda was Link. Sorry. But, yeah, I've, I've never played a, a Zelda game. Yeah, I'm looking for the purple emperor or the great purple emperor. Well, thank you for the, the bamboo that I already have. Thanks. All of this for a butterfly. I mess up my entire island, get it filled with, well, more weeds, bunch of flowers, and my villagers hating me. All to complete this museum. Forgiveness, yes, forgiveness. Forgiveness is futile. All right, come on. Anka's awake. What is this? Anka, go to bed. Oh my goodness. No one in their right mind would be up at five in the morning. Consider going back to bed. Everyone flubs the Zelda Link thing at least once. I know. I think if I had played the games, I would be a lot better about not making that mistake. But, I don't know. Oh, <sighs> curses. All right. We're going to do the once around before resuming the, the freaking... Nook Miles ticket monstrosity. God, there's so many flowers. So many flowers. This is a mess. This is such a mess. I think I should have turned this into like a rainbow thing. We're starting with red and then going back. I may fix that. I think I'm going to fix that later. Not on this stream. It's it's past. It's almost past the, the artsy time of streaming. But we can still enjoy the uh, the ambiance, the music, which is not at all matching my 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 feelings. Okay. My island is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Oh goodness, come on, butterflies. Hey, not the butterfly I'm looking for. Come on. I have all of these flowers. Where the heck are the butterflies? What is this? What is this? All of these flowers. Love the decor and theme. Thank you. Thank you. I think if I were to redo this island, which, you know, I am. But if I was to redo this, I think what I would have done was... I would have added more points of interest because that's what I was talking about. That I, I love the build of this, but I think I think I could have pushed it further. I could have added more of like a city feel. I I'm not 
it, I'm not very good with uh, fake buildings in the sense that I just I have a really hard time of, of keeping of making it look like I don't know like it, it makes sense it's like you either have to make your entire island filled with fake buildings or that you don't and I think that was one of the biggest mistakes I made with old port but with Everkeep it was like I don't know I just I just wanted there to be a lot of walkways I just wanted it to be like you know a spiral can you check the P page it says from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it's available in May, and it's currently May. But I can I can check the other thing. Cause if I'm I'm doing it wrong, I'm gonna be so mad. Great purple emperor Animal Crossing. Yep, it's available from May to August, from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, so the uh, Critopedia was incorrect about the rain thing. I'm trying to remember my very first game I ever played, and I think it was this duck hunt on NES, but the first game I owned was Red and Stimpy Search of the Powdered Toast Man on Game Gear. Nice. The first game that, I mean, there was a lot of, um, like, software games that I used to play that were uh, education oriented. So there was like one that had a, a, a sapient car and then there was Putt-Putt. Yeah, it was Putt-Putt. Yeah, Hosma and I were talking about like the, the, the games that the, the, the we us used to play. And then there was like an education one that had Disney characters in it that I used to play. That was mostly math oriented if I recall. And then there was, I don't think it was Leapfrog, but it may have been the Leapfrog games that I used to play as a kid. And then, but the, the first platformer game that I recall playing was called Jill of the Jungle. And oh man, oh man. Anytime that I uh, went to my mom's work and she, I am trying to remember whether, I don't think that was when she was working at, um, at the Navy Yard, but she, are you serious? Why are you raining? Stop it. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. But anyway, so when I was, when I was like at her office, she would let me just play a platformer game for a good portion of the time. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous friends. And at some point, HubSmod was able to find this particular website that had a list of like all of these like free games that you could play, like all of these platformers that are available. And it was, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. So we now know that I can't depend on, I can't depend on freaking islands, island tours because it's raining. This is nonsense. This is nonsense, friends. And here they are just teasing me with their common, common butterflyness. Do I have a stream schedule or do I go live whenever? I do have a stream. Actually, let's see if I, if this works. You got it? Okay. Hubs mod is going to, to Hubs mod. Hold on. Yeah, so I, I do have a set streaming schedule, but I don't know. I I do know that this is late for a lot of people, and I, I have considered the idea of an earlier stream at some point, but I don't know. I also like my sleep. I really like my sleep. I like my sleep. This hurts my soul in all of the worst ways. Yes, Hubs Mod. Hubs Mod, ruler of the chat, first in his name, love of my life. Yes. Yes. 
This is obnoxious. All right, we're gonna time travel one more time and we're gonna test one more island. And if it does not work, we have to end it. I, I have I have a grilled cheese with my name on it and I need to, I need to do something about that. So, uh, insane. The times are great for you. I'm glad, I'm glad. It is actually a pretty good time. I do appreciate like being the the night the the night shift for a lot of people here we're gonna we'll, we'll, we'll do this there we go because i feel that it means that people can just like continuously have some 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 sense of like i don't know entertainment <laughs> they can start with one person and then you just move on to the next Self-care is more important than the streams, but consider spite, though, Belle. Consider spite. The spite. The absolute spite. And I did at least eat this morning. I, uh, I, I'm I kind of like a, a late breakfast eater. I, I will have my coffee because that's that's necessary for me to be human. But uh, sometimes I forget to have breakfast, which is bad. I shouldn't be doing that. But I did eat. I did eat a thing. What is he doing awake? Rory, go back to bed. Go back to bed. Oh, my villagers are gonna yell at me when I time travel back to uh, regular time. Ugh. Oh, I remember my edutainment games, the number muncher series games. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Isabel, is there really no news? Really? No one is sick? No one is uh, crafting a thing? You you have the windows that look right outside the, uh, the building and you don't know which NPC is visiting? Man, look at that outfit. Look, he dressed himself. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, if you ever want an awesome jock, Rory's kind of the best. Does anyone remember Dr. Quandry? I do not know Dr. Quandry. I'm gonna be super honest. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. This is obnoxious. Right. I promise you, friends, that if it's raining on a uh, a mystery island, I will not rage quit. I promise. I will. I will look at you all in the eye and say thank you for hanging out. I promise. But if it's raining, this game hates me. <laughs> Oh wow, there is actually a spawn requirement for the the purple emperor. So apparently you need to catch at least 50 total bugs, which <laughs> I did. But that's really interesting. Oh, I don't want visitors. I, I want butterflies. I want to use a Nook Miles ticket. Let's do this. Wilbur, I'm, I'm warning you, my dude. If we end up on a uh, mystery island that is raining, I will not be held responsible for your for my actions. Orville, if you want if you want to still be a sibling, I suggest, I suggest you heed my words, sir. This is this is where Artsy becomes violent in this stream, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good vibes violence. Good vibes, Lince. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Wait, is that? <sighs> How dare you make me excited to see you? How dare? All right. And of course it's Money Island, so there's like this huge amount of water. 
and I need to get curses. Kerfluffle. That's the new curse word of the day. Kerfluffle. So many Nook Miles tickets used. It hurts my soul. Do y'all remember, like, back in the early game where, you know, having 50 Nook Miles tickets was a big deal? Now everyone's like, I have, like, 2,000. Excuse. All right. All right. I have too much money. This is first world island problems. First island problems for sure. Literally first island because this is my first island. So let's see. Anything. Yes, come to me. Let me catch you. Come on, Purple Emperor. Come on. Come on. It's not hard. Just spawn. That's all I'm asking. Get out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh. This hurts. Rude. Rude. Excuse. No one gave you permission to be free. Well, actually, I'm gonna release them soon, I promise. Okay. Anything. Anything. Come on. Oh my goodness. That was... Was that net number three or number four? I think that was net number four. Also. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks. Ugh. This is really the worst. Well, one of the worst islands to try to catch specific bugs because it just Did I see? Wait, is that is that a butterfly I need? Hold on, hold on. All right. The true meaning of torture. I agree. I agree. Is this a butterfly I need? That is the biggest question of the day. No. And of course, there is a freaking round cricket. Things I do for this museum that I'm ultimately going to be re- Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, <gasps> is this it? It's it! It is! Yes! Yes! We did it, friends! We did it! In the last couple of minutes. And oh, yes, we need to swap. Thank you. Let this go. 
We have it. Friends, we have it. We're going to go to Blathers right now. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. I don't have, I don't have a good, like, preparation music, but we freaking did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've never felt so accomplished in a stream in my entire life. Oh my goodness. Friends, you were here for the uh, for the momentous occasion. For the momentous occasion when I finished the freaking museum. We did it. We freaking did it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, friends. Thank you. I was I was going to get to the point where if I got to three hours and 45 minutes, I was going to call it, so I'm glad. I'm glad that my uh, freaking game was like, okay, we should probably cover some slack. Huzzah, yes. Hello, Skyrim Mori, hello. All right. All right. If he does not tell me that I finished the museum, I don't even know what to do anymore. Wake up. Wake up, sir. You have no idea the work and effort I time-traveled for you, okay? <laughs> oh, it's the stamp! Oh, that's so fun! I forgot! Yeah, that's okay. No thanks. Thank you. Whew! Oh yes, I would like to learn about it. Blathers, please tell me. The Great Purple Emperor lives high in the treetops and is renowned for its pretty purple wings. Its impressive bird-like wingspan and elusive nature make it a favorite among butterfly aficionados. But truth be told, the so-called Great Purple Emperor has some not-so-great personal peculiarities. For one, it has two horrid horns upon its head when it's in its caterpillar form. For two, it has been known to dine on feces and animal carcasses, which is why it's called the Emperor of Ew. <laughs> Now to go celebrate with a grilled cheese sandwich. Absolutely. There we go. There we go. Yes! Uh, we did the thing. We did the thing, friends. And it's all thanks to the generosity of upstanding donors such how many other donors were there blathers it was one it was an unpaid internship of me doing everything goodness gracious you thank you thank you you grew our humble institute into the magnificent marvel it is today with your very own labor thank you you have my deepest most profound gratitude thank you for all your commitment and excellence my feathers i am nearly speechless about the wonder of it all he's not though he's still talking Okay. Okay. Friends, countrymen, resident representatives, we did the thing. We did the thing. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of the very first times that I've actually like completed a thing on a stream and with the additional things that we had to find. So we found the three, not the one, the three bugs that we needed to find. So I'm going to go celebrate with a grilled cheese sandwich and I will see you Friday for a villager hunt with, uh, in collaboration with Honeydrop Crossing, AKA Shauna, AKA the, uh, the queen bee of the barrel cult. And so with that in mind, my friends, I'm just going to stop it here because who, who artsy is tired, artsy is tired and I will catch you next time. So. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for being awesome, and uh, yeah, catch you around.